Wow. Reporting live from <laughs> the Smoky Mountains. A little getaway. Till next week. Can't wait for the MOAS to take place. This is why I specifically chose this time out. Um, not a vacation, but more like a different, different change of scenery. What's up, boys? How are you, how are we doing, guys? I couldn't stay away from all of you guys for a while. <laughs> Man, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous view. Um, so, let's, let's, let's get, beside, besides the view, let's get going with the things that I wanted to cover with you guys. Oops, I was gonna go to the back of the cabin. <laughs> Here, let me show you guys this. What's up, Mr. McCown? Pokes, Mario, how are you? It's a beautiful cabin, actually. Large enough. Wish that I had all of you guys in here. This is the front. The jacuzzi was wonderful all last night. My bones needed it. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right. So, to report quickly on many of these things that I've been telling you guys about okay now I gotta be in the shade for a bit because I was beginning to melt <laughs> Arthur how are you brother okay so if you were on a discord with us uh, which is again um, there was first a reported the uh, Morgan Stanley situation, and that's huge. And I'm gonna break it down to you guys. I'm also gonna talk about the, the, the warning that the Chinese investors were getting from their government to uh, like not partake and take and fulfill <laughs> mortgage securities and, and, and uh, basically use a business license so they could get loans that would qualify for less interest and therefore they will over leverage themselves and it makes it more dangerous because when the inevitable happens like that's what they're worried about over there is when you when these people can't pay uh these things that now they're also one they're owning like they're they owe on uh no like you know normal loans and uh perhaps they're also entities or people that are also getting loans under a business uh, structure uh, just to save about, I think it was like about a percent, which is a lot depending on the amount that you get. But again, that's, that's we're gonna break that down. Well, I think I just broke, it, broke that down. Plus, we're gonna talk about Taiwan, worried about China creeping in. They're preparing all their citizens for, you know, drills, automatic drills, like in case of a, 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 an airstrike attack what they would do so we broke that out the way and now that's out the way um, also AMC's rise uh, too many of these uh, FTAR youtubers like the lose or the even 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 Al you know the Al coming out <laughs> in the day today saying oh expect AMC to go up well no shit dipshit uh, uh, well AB was telling you that yesterday to all the people, at least who follow, and for weeks, when to expect and how to expect, especially when I laid out the FTDs for you, not that they all got delivered, by the way, this is just hush money. What they're doing today and yesterday and last Friday, don't let this rise confuse you or get it, uh, get you, get you, get it twisted. Like, I'm going to break that down as well. Uh, and I believe that's all the news I have. Ooh, and besides this uh, stock that is ripping today, uh, Go EV. You know, obviously why Go EV is ripping is because Walmart chose to buy all their electric commercial delivery vehicles because Walmart wants to be in e-commerce, obviously, to deliver similar to Amazon, become more like Amazon since they're already the biggest uh, or the biggest conglomerate in retail business. They were like, why don't we also reach out to, to our customers? We already have the infrastructure. Let's reach out. We, we need to save money. How can we do it? We need electric vehicles because that's where the future is heading toward anyways. 
you guys remember the documentary or the interview that the two days ago I covered with you uh, with Duncan Wood. Remember when Biden said that he we need electric vehicles to be 50 percent of the vehicles by 2030. See, businesses are acting on it. You watch that. You took some points from that. Now you see what's happening here, which also if you watch that interview and the reaction to it, you got you got some insight on all the people that are just thinking more us, you know, so that's another plus. So that one is ripping today. It's like 60 something percent. At some point it was over 100 percent because Walmart chose to buy all their vehicles, commercial delivery vehicles from them. Uh, check it out if you want. Go EV. That's the name of the stock. So AB from now on is like, OK, I'm tired of getting my content ripped and uh, stolen by random YouTubers, some bigger channels like the Owls and the freaking Lose and whatever. And then I'm more, I'm, uh, and now at this point, it's so funny. The source, which is here at this point, is getting one, not just like the, the less views, because I guess I don't clickbait, which is weird, but more so when it gets ripped and it goes taken, it takes, it takes to a different channel. Like I've seen, uh, I've been seeing uh, one for the past few days and it was so, so, so weird to see all these uh, people that, you know, come to this channel and they see like they, they, I told you guys to hold your content creators to a higher, uh, you know, a higher level and a higher form of values and uh, check them. Same here. I would do the same thing to all the views. And now I'm doing my part. I'm holding all my viewers to that to that extent. How could you see something that one is false? Two, all the information that was given out are literally not 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 logical. And three, they're all ripped off and even reportrayed in a very 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 terrible way. So like they're stolen, <laughs> and then they paste it incorrectly, giving people wrong wrong, wrong complete wrong info. And yet, on top of that, sometimes they drink out of their ass drunk. So, yeah, I, I, I wanted to hold you guys to a higher standard than, than, than what I seen. Now, what I seen yesterday gave me a complete different outlook on what the community really looks for. Uh, I'm not speaking in general to everybody. You know, it's just, I guess the sentiment is people want to see the thumbnails, the clickbaits. People don't, don't like it, they say it, but they really go and see it. People don't want to see real value. They don't want to see real info. They come to people like me and say, I want to, you know, show my support and and, and leave to go chill with some drunk or whatever. I, I, I don't even need this, guys. Honestly, like, I don't even need this at all. I got my businesses. I am an investor. I showed my positions before as far as my profits even on, on whatever what I could do. My point was to try to get everybody on the same page of understanding, and it's fine. It's fine with whoever comes and takes it and whatever. When, when it starts getting ripped off, <laughs> and whoever is ripping it off is actually getting more views, and while they're getting more views, they're also saying the info wrong. They're doing no work. They're giving not even. They're not even giving you your time. Their time. So, it it, it just gave me a better understanding on what the people think like and what kind of stuff attracts people's attentions. They don't want to hear the real. They don't want to hear the good deal. They don't want to hear the breakdown. They just want to hear the ripped off virgin that has no paper trail behind it or receipts and none of that stuff. And uh, from people that you can tell for listening for just for about 30 seconds, you could tell that this individual doesn't know shit about the market. This person is coming in talking about oh the other channels and the real deal and whatever but this but all they're doing is ripping people's work and talk and dd and don't even put enough time into putting it together well shit yeah i guess moas isn't for everybody you guys could get drunk after that and get pissed it's like oh why did i listen to some drunk well you can't blame anybody but that Yes, I, I after the Moas, you Kim, you'll see after the Moas. By the way, hi to everybody that's in here. Jay Partagi, how are you, brother? Mrs. Gloria, it's always a pleasure. Mrs. Tahiti and uh, Kim, 
Yeah, I can't wait. After post Moas, we're gonna do something like this. Either have a huge, huge, huge cab cabin, uh, or a couple, depending on the size of our community. Um, whether in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, or uh, you know, this is just a change of scenery. Uh, you know, to prep for the actual um, you know vacation, which is post Moas. This is why I chose this time to do this because I already knew this. So back to the AMC thing. So don't get uh, uh, all these YouTubers that are coming out on the day of to say, yeah, let's go, Moas, blah, blah, blah. Just want to let you know that there was only probably a few, probably you can count on one finger, on one hand, not on one finger, on one hand, that actually reported that to you via technical analysis and receipts based on paper trail to show you, at least I'll speak for myself. I'll let the other people speak for themselves as well. Uh, Sorry guys, I'm back with you now. The, in the internet and the service obviously being in the mountains is not as great. <laughs> but yeah, you can fact check and see who is telling you in a week in advance, a day in advance, where and when this thing was gonna go down or how, and how it's gonna happen. Not many, right? At least I was able to tell you that back then, guys. Um, but in the same time, I'm the same person to tell you, don't let this, this rise fool you for now because these FTDs were not delivered that were, I was showing you in these papers. They were, there were some here and there that was given out, whatever is available <laughs> because obviously everything is gone. It's been lo 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 locked up and bought many, many, many months ago. So what are they doing? They're having this little rise. You see what happens at the end of this week, this Friday, what options are ending out of the money and how many that are gonna be out of the money. Uh, the most, one of the most loaded options chains um, since June of last year. <coughs> Market makers got all their hand, uh, fork and knife <laughs> uh, ready and uh, you know, all sharpened for what happens this week, which again, we're not in this play for one week or one day. So don't get the, let, let what's happening today and yesterday and Friday fool you. Um, they're, they're, all this is gonna be like on a general sentiment. They're gonna say the reason why the market was up today or most, most of the market was up today is because the CPI data came back above the expectation levels, which was, it was expected to be at 0.5% and instead came back at 1.1%. To them, that's like, oh, okay, that means the, the, the recession is factored in in the, con in the whole economic general sentiment, and now we can move forward. Maybe we can have a soft landing. Before you know it, tomorrow more fears come out. There's already so much, so much fears. It, 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 all around, all around. You got Romania is dealing with 15% year-over-year inflation. That's unheard of numbers. You got Taiwan getting ready for an invasion from China. <laughs> They're doing uh, uh, drills, like the whole public are doing drills. They're practicing, the country is practicing their people for airstrikes that are possible gonna happen in the near term or in the near future from China. Because they've been doing a lot of activity, China has been doing a lot of activity around uh, Taiwan, getting ready for it. What else? You've seen, as I reported to you, if you were in the Discord, you would have seen it. Uh, late last night about the Morgan Stanley breakdown and I told you you guys are so f you apes are so filthy <laughs> you wanted you wanted you wanted uh, you wanted to make them cough blood and that is exactly how I titled it well you made them cough an organ you know yesterday you've seen it and that's huge why is it huge because it was Morgan Stanley's four billion dollars which was supposed to be the biggest SPAC uh, merger to, to, to on the block as of yet, but here's why. What is a SPAC? You're probably wondering, like, is that a security or something like that? SPAC is like, it, it's also called AKA a blank check company. And what that is, is a private company, but it like, it like people like Morgan Stanley, they'll get so much, like, what is the advantage? For example, I know like for, for me to have to break it down to you all at once, you would think now like, okay, so what makes it advantage? Why would a, uh, a company want to, you know, do a merge with, with, with uh, Morgan, you know, with a SPAC? Because one, it gives them the liquidity they need, the sponsorship, but at the same time, it's more good also for 
the initiator because now you're getting this blank check of so many different investors putting in a pool of money to choose a prominent company to go ahead and take it from private and make it go public minus the whole having to go uh, IPO on its own, which takes a lot more money. It's much harder. You have to go and raise money on your own. It's just so hard. Now, Morgan wanted to do this last year with Universal Studios, but they didn't let it go through. Obviously, they didn't power it through. Why? Because there was a big far outcry of, obviously, of overreach. So that didn't go through. Now, the big problem with SPAC companies is the time of the market. If the markets, they're a great idea for these investors, especially investors in hedge funds like Morgan Stanley, uh, because when the market conditions are great, then you can make, I mean, you're coming in, you theoretically are coming in on a groundbreaking point of that company and you already have, they already have done their homework as far as this is a prominent company. If it goes public, it's gonna be profitable. So they're getting in on the groundbreak. As soon as it goes public, you know, in that IPO phase, they could easily, many of these uh, people could go ahead and dump all their shares after that rise because, again, they're uh, un underneath their price value or their entry point is much less than everybody else, you know, who is coming in after the initiation of the IPO or uh, if they want to lock in, you know how, like, you could, if, I don't know if any of you in here are IPO investors, but you could go in there and you could go ahead and like, you know, sometimes depending on your broker, you could get access 30 days in advance, two weeks in advance to uh, try to buy something. And you put an estimate from this price to this price. And if it works, you will get those on the day of the IPO. Or if it's not, then, you know, they'll give you a limit as far as like the least you'll pay. And obviously the highest you'll pay in case it goes up uh, and, and so forth. But these companies like the Morgan Stanley situation and their investors, love this because they make so much money because they're coming in at a bottom point whatever the price is going to be they're coming in under underneath it now that got broken they couldn't find a company that was suitable to invest their four billion or billions in because the market conditions here's the real reason the market conditions are terrible any good company right now think of it look at amazon look at tesla Look at all the Microsoft. Microsoft is obviously laying off employees, by the way, too, just so you guys would know, besides all the other companies that are doing it. But look at look at look at the, all those companies. Those are great companies, right? They're considered blue chip stocks. Now, those companies, they're even them are hurting in this time. You see them like Amazon is down with like seven, seven, 60 percent uh, since the, its 52 week high. Uh, year uh, over this whole year, you know, year to date, Microsoft, maybe not as much, but 30, 40% at least. Anything that they're going to go, any company is going to come in new, it's not going to have better expectations than obviously uh, <laughs> these blue chip stocks. So if these blue chip stocks are, are getting hammered, what do you think a new kid on the block is going to come in? It doesn't matter what the company is, it's going to deal with in this market condition. See, sometimes, guys, we got to know something. And you all will know this when I break it down like this. Sometimes we see things that we need and we want. But the only thing that can't make it happen is that there's no money to get that need and want. So you'll say, one day I'll get this. Right? And you move on with life. These uh, people, they know, like these companies, right now, if they were to go public, what are they going public with? There's no money in the markets. Everything is being selling off. People are hoarding their money because they want to sit on it to protect it from the downfall of the recession. Plus, when, when companies like this do this and dissolve it, liquidate it, and return the money to the investors, the only reason why is that that happens, because this takes months to, ha to, to happen, like as far as them choosing the company, the, the paperwork and all that. So it takes three to five months at least. When they do this and break it and they don't reach a time, the timeline, the deadline, and then they obviously dissolve it, liquidate and return the, all that investment and all that money to its rightful uh, investors with them, that means they're anticipating a much worse drop in the overall sentiment of the market. See, I'm dropping to you guys some things that, that, that 
that only comes with time. You're getting experience with time, not experience because I have a financial advising degree or any of that stuff. Uh, not that that kind of stuff anyways matters these days. <laughs> you don't want to go to Ken Griffin to get financial advice, even if he has the certificate for it. <laughs> right? Or Morgan. Uh, <laughs> So, so at the end of the day, I mean, obviously nothing in here is financial advice. I'm breaking it down to you. I'm giving you guys stuff that you would only know when you spend time in the market to understand it and you stumble across it. I'm giving you all that stuff as a debriefing. You don't even need to experience that stuff because I'm just telling you right now. So for those of you out there who, th who are having an issue with, is this the bottom? Should I load up here? Or where's the bottom? We don't know where's the bottom. When you see what I just broke down to you, that right there tells me that we're not even like with paper, not just gentle, general, not gentle, general sentiment on, it looks like it could be the bottom or no, I'm not giving you it could, I'm giving you what, when these guys do stuff like that and SPAC merges dissolve because obviously fears of the conditions of the market on billions of dollars in the scale, over $4 billion, that means the guys up there who always have an ear or somehow they get some news ahead of everybody else, that means they're anticipating that news. They know that it's gonna drop further, the overall market. Um, <laughs> will it? You guys will see. A hundred, again, look at, look just with time, you will get to develop these things and you you see this sentiment and you know when people like them do stuff like that, that means this, which means if I was a person, actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna go into a problem now and say like I would what I would do, but I can't uh, say that obviously on, on YouTube. <laughs> you guys are smart enough. Um, so yeah, for any doubters about what is possibly gonna happen soon, well, Morgan Stanley just coughed up an organ today. That is a stain on the guy's uh, resume. Not that his resume is already not, uh, you know, devoured all over the place. No. <laughs> you guys will see when these individuals do stuff like this and dissolves and money is returned to its uh, investors. That means they personally are also asking like, no, 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 don't go forward. We don't see any company out there that is worth any private company out there that is worth us taking it public and because we don't see us making money out of it because their whole frame is when the market conditions are great these companies take uh you know take a t t t obviously take the ipo and go on the market and next thing you know they can only go up and up and up and get better um, and they benefit the most, the, the initial investors, the people who took them on. Why? Because they're considered sponsors. That's what a SPAC deal is. So they're considered sponsors. And because they're considered sponsors, obviously they're coming in on the ground floor. But when they don't do that, and they were, they had the money to do that, but when they don't do that and the money all is returned to investors, you got so many things. One, the investors obviously don't want to lose their money so they ask for their money back they don't agree they don't reach an agreement that's one two market conditions are too scary so therefore uh and and and, and volatile to the downside that they anticipate a better and worse in, in this in this in these terms a worse correction to the downside before the retail general sentiment that's what that tells me. And for anybody who's been in the market for more than January 2021, <laughs> you, 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 would, you would know what I'm saying. And you could validate what I'm saying, obviously. If, if not, then you most likely have been in this market in general, not just meme stocks, but you've been in this market uh, either just stuck in one thing, just taking a stock and trading it back. You haven't been participating in any IPOs or you don't know what a SPAC is or any of that stuff, if that's the case. Uh, or you could have just been in quite lately in the market. So <laughs> let me say some hi here. Highs to people. Uh, I see Smokies. Yeah, I uh, it, dude, it's amazing. Yesterday was the first time I, I ran in, uh, as soon as as soon as I got to the cabin right outside. There was a, I sent a picture on the discord for a black bear. 
It was unfortunately for it. Uh, it looked like his leg was or his foot was hurt, was limping. Um, I don't know if that was better for me or for, for the bear, but um, unfortunately, yeah. I don't think again black bears are not that vicious unless you you know they have their baby with them or something, and you know you're near. They have to get defensive and protective. But besides that, they normally don't you know attack humans uh, for hunger like a grizzly bear. So. I look forward to seeing more bears around. Today, I'm keeping it in here. I'm so tired from the drive and from the jacuzzi all last night. I stayed up pretty late, covering up some things. So tomorrow, I'm gonna do more. I had the rest of the family go to down to Dollywood. If you've been in Tennessee, uh, I don't know, you might like that stuff. For me, I done it before, so I wasn't all about it. I was like, let me spend it in here today before, because I got still four more days down here, well, until the weekend uh, to be down here. So I'll do more stuff and do more hiking. Maybe we all can interview a bear. <laughs> Catch a bee. <laughs> Try to uh, buy stock with bears, with nature. <laughs> so, yeah, what else did I want to cover? I think I covered almost uh, all that stuff, but I, I said that it was going to be a Q&A as well. Uh, so let's see if there's any questions. Um, it, it, Man, I'm I'm still I'm still baffled. I'm still baffled how how people can um, like how YouTubers could buy uh, YouTube following and views and yet somehow attract everybody else and get shit faced on 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 the thing and say everything wrong and nobody there to check them. Wow, that was from. Whew, that was that was that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Let's see if we have any questions in here. Uh, Droobs White, what's up, brother? Pabloco. <laughs> Happy B day to you, brother. Jeffrey, what's up, my brother? How are you feeling? Hopefully, all is good. Leave the lion. What's 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 your what, uh, if you don't mind me asking? What what? How old did you turn now? The MMA fighter is in the house. <laughs> I remember. I remember all my family's uh, situations and what they do and what they like. Thirty-one, man. That's a blessing age, brother. Yeah, I'm beating you. Next month I'll be thirty-four. I look. I look more. I look older than thirty-four, though. I know. But yeah. Um, let's see. Was there something else that I reported on Discord that I didn't cover yet? Because I said I wanted to break. I broke the Morgan Stanley situation. I broke the uh, the China situation with the uh, you know the home uh, or the, the 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 citizens going to take uh, business loans to fulfill you know, uh, life means or pay their bills uh, because the business loans are a percent less than the regular loans um, or the public loans. So, yeah, I covered that as well. Um, Taiwan invasion, I've covered that. CPI data, I covered that. Walmart buying uh, Go EV uh, vehicles about 45 50 thousand uh, vehicles electric vehicles so they could go fully like Amazon style what else yeah put uh, put in put in put in uh, I'm not watching obviously the price of AMC right now can somebody put the price of AMC in the screen or can everybody put the price of AMC <laughs> currently yeah, last time I checked it, it was around 7%. Um, it, it, as I told you guys, this is not 1552. Perfect. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, they're, they're, just so you guys would know, my opinion on this is that they're, um, you know, they're kind of controlling this, this, whole, this whole run up so that, one, for the options chain purpose only. Now, if you're not, worried about any of that and you're not worried about any options and you know you don't have any expiring options this week you still have nothing to worry about it's always good for you to see it going the stock going up right 
that's that's ultimately what it's all about uh but ultimately the reason why they're doing what they're doing obviously is trying to make sure that they get as less amount of as least amount of possible uh of of of, of uh options in the uh money because they don't want you know the more that's the more that they have to uh deliver next week and it doesn't even necessarily have to be uh <laughs> ftds and all this stuff like some people have no idea some youtubers it's so crazy like they have no idea what they're talking about it's like covering a general topic and it's sad because this is not a general topic um uh, um it, it still blows my mind but anyways uh <laughs> this is why exactly I chose the change of scenery this week because I already knew that there's no way that the, obviously we would have the MOAS uh, this week because of the the way that the options chain is stacked and obviously them being manipulators and being able to get in and manipulate uh, with synthetic shares and then now at this point it's like the whole world knows it it's not even a secret anymore um, and it's very clear you might some of you might wonder like who's paying us like or if you're not wondering this you need to be asking yourself this question who's gonna pay this yeah they took money from us they never delivered the stock why are they continuing to sell more what you think they just uh, they, they're okay with taking 12 14 dollars and eventually turn it back whatever return it or buy it back later at what whatever astronomical price you think they just want to continue to keep doing that daily base no it's because they know that th th again from a person who's been in the market for years they know that they eventually will dump it into the laps of the government who will at that point it won't be the reason like the reason why the economy will break down it's not going to be announced as amc and gamestop broke down the economy if you think that stop watching transformers i'm sorry or power rangers they're never going to give us that kind of credit. We will get our money. Like, don't get it twisted. We will get our money. But the reason why it's been prolonged, and a lot of people keep asking, why is this talking so long and all this? I, t I said this to you guys before. I'm going to say it again because, you know, we always have new people coming in, just even browsing or watching or subs new subscribers. Uh, they come in and like you know they're wondering this is still a big question a lot of people still answer ask this question actually more people in the community ask this question than the ones that don't which is well one who's gonna pay us Two, like for this madness and two why are they prolonging this why has this been taking longer and this is why you see even other content creators falling into the wedge of what they think that this whole thing is about some sort of catalyst or we need a catalyst or we need a we had a gazillion catalysts nothing put it through there's no catalyst but us we are the catalysts the holders you're holding the float has been resold old back then when ray dalio came in what was it that i told you it's like don't buy too much my my family in here don't buy too much into this crap we already bought up the whole float normally you need that kind of catalyst when 75%, 50% of the float is sold and you need somebody to come in and scoop up the rest and now it's at 100% utilization, which we've been at for over three months. <laughs> we've been at 100 utilization for over three months. So when a rate value comes in, even if they buy, we know if AMC's uh, float is 513 million shares, well, uh, 513 million shares, <laughs> even if they come in and buy 5 billion shares if Red Dalio comes in and buys 5 billion which again where's the other 4.5 billion coming from what does it do he's they're, when they're coming to buy in more they're just buying in more and more and more which further puts more shares on the market fake synthetic shares on the market that eventually liquid, uh, dilutes the stock just the price of the stock for now because the problem is, think of it like this, cancer, the only way you could get rid of it is, and this is the best example I could come off with, I'll come up with right off the top of my head. You can only get rid of it in two situations. Either you get rid of the whole cancer throughout the body, which whatever you did, whether in a 
in a, in, a, in a modern way, health manner, or with some herbs, or whatever you do, a diet, whatever, but you got, you exterminated all these cancer cells in, in your system that were active. Uh, because we all have, obviously, cancer cells in us that are just not active. So when somebody is diagnosed with cancer, those cells are active, and then that's when they go in and they try to eradicate that part. If it's a tumor, they try to take it out, depending on where it is. So the, if you relate that to our situation, cancer only continues to grow if it's not dealt with. And most of the times, even if it's dealt with, it continues to grow. In our situation, we are already bought up everything. The whole body is ours. We, we, we infected them with brain tumor, uh, colon tumor. We're everywhere. <laughs> Blood cancer, everywhere. We're everywhere in the body. There is no way this body can heal unless you exterminate everything, which means exterminate a whole, everybody. Are, are any of you or are all of you planning to go tomorrow and sell all your shares? I, I don't think so. So therefore, we're, you're not going to get rid of this cancer. So whoever else comes and joins on, what are they buying? They're buying extra synthetics. They're not buying up the float. The float has been already purchased, like for F's sake. I don't understand like what creators and sometimes people say, and it gets me, as you can see, and my, my pressure is rising because I get emotional for, 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 for my people and for, for anybody, even if I don't know you. I don't like, one, misleading, two, I don't like bullying. So any of these two, even if it's not my business, oh, best believe I will fucking be in there and I, it will be my business. It, it doesn't matter what kind of trouble it gets me. It will be my fucking business. But it's common sense, guys. Uh, you're not going to have somebody, we're, we're not waiting for a catalyst. We already have the catalyst. We won this battle. As I always say, long, long time ago, we're just waiting for the keys to the castle. Why? Now it leads us to the second question. Why are they continuing to sell? Well, one, they get to dilute the stock by dropping obviously more synthetics periodically right now because the system is all in shambles. So since we covered that we don't need any more buyers, yeah, sure, come in. Nobody can tell nobody you can't buy anymore. We could always welcome more people in. I mean, we already have so many institutions. Institutions on their own have more than the actual, like their total combined of shares are more than the actual float. How do we own 90%, which is even more, I know that, and they own more than 100% of the stock, but yet we own 90 and they own 10 or 5 Use this, use this, guys. Don't listen to no crap tuber saying that, oh, we're, yeah, we're buying this and we're buying up the float. The float is, which float? Which one are, they, are you referring to? Ask them that. Say, what float are you referring to? So since we covered that, second is, why are they constantly selling more of the synthetic? Why are they bringing in more people? This is making it worse and worse for them to try to unravel later. Even if they took your money, and bet on you to try to sell it because that was the old game sell you something the reason why they were always doing rehypothecation uh, and that's the professional word for it but synthetics the reason why they provide IOUs is because it's been working for, for so long it didn't start with AMC and GME guys come on uh, it's been happening they've been doing this for a long time so when they do this they knew for the old game most people when they see a small dip in their position, depending on where they got in. Sorry, I was just listening to some of the people doing construction on another cabin next door. I thought they were saying something about a bear, and I was like, what? <laughs> I want to see this, but no, it wasn't. They were speaking Spanish. So anyways, so why are they constantly selling this more and more? It, because back then, people took a position, let's say, for example, in Google. And they bought in at whatever, let's just have, make hypothetical prices at 3000 And suddenly Google dips to $2,500, which is drastic, obviously, in, uh, in regular market day, uh, days, <laughs> not in this market. Most people, most retail, if not all back then, would sell on the spot. That's it, fear. Who made money here? The person, the market makers, the broker that sold you an IOU for a higher price and you sold it back to them at a lower price meaning you gave them back the tool of crime 
which if you go back if you, like live streams before I told you you have the title of the video was you have the the the, the, the weapon that they used on us the crime weapon we have the evidence to the to the crime you have it oh you sw single one of us have it in your account the only thing they're betting on is you giving them back that weapon they can't go nowhere until they get that weapon back which in this case are the shares so before 20 uh, 20 and 2021 when majority of retail jumped in I would say it like that uh, it, it was all this stuff was being practiced already it was already being played and it's already happening so when 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 they, they the way that they were playing it is that there was no such thing as a hold there was no such thing as a hold back then you see a drop cut your losses take it and leave but that's just only what retail said and that's what triggered people like Warren Buffett to come out and say remember guys uh, the, the the stock market is about transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient you know and these guys come out and they act like gurus and all that stuff I have respect for all my elders and all the people obviously that I don't know unless they don't give me the respect but these guys get insider tra trading information they always have an ear to the inside that gives them info before we get it look at the Congress uh, uh, men and women they make better traders than Warren Buffett they're always on on point they always are profitable they're in the wrong industry <laughs> instead of being in Congress and make a yearly salary that doesn't even equate to a one-day trade that they make they should be day traders shit why are they in the Congress they went in the wrong career you guys get my sarcasm the only reason why they're good and they're doing all that and they're productive is because and it's paying off is because these guys have <laughs> ears on the inside that tells them stuff before we do and on paper I'm not making uh, you know allegations here Jerome Powell did the same thing in the blackout phase many new incomers don't know this you should know this you should know this when everybody didn't know that there was a shutdown coming in in, in, in uh, the to the market in 2020 because of COVID, these guys were given like they knew there was a blackout phase because they knew this information was gonna you know they knew they talked about it in the, in the in the government basis and they knew that there was gonna be a shutdown so automatically there will be a blackout phase where they can't use that information to go do trades guess what these the all these guys <laughs> red blue <laughs> feds doesn't matter who they are <laughs> they all went in and said fuck you fuck you fuck you you're cool but fuck you <laughs> and I'm trading that's what they did and guess what did Jerome do he did the same thing and what did he get he got reannoyed reappointed sorry into into the uh, being being the chair of the Fed yeah that's the system we live in guys so if you don't understand it you're always going to be either confused or fall victim to it. You don't want to be either. Listen to AB Investments. <laughs> so anyways, answer the question of why that I am asking for you. And that a lot of people are asking. They're just not asking it out in public. Why is the other side continuing to continue to sell more and more of the fiction? I mean, they could have easily, if people think that they, if I, I've heard some answers out there that are cute, honestly. And what those answers were, oh, they're, 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 you don't really know. What if everybody really did sell? That's the stupidest one I've heard. The second answer is, that's from non-believers anyways. But the ones that do believe but don't understand really the whole picture, their answer is, well, the reason why they're, uh, they're continuing to sell is because they want to keep the music going. And whatever the, some people call it, the music going so that it could continue, uh, you know, it can't have a beginning and no end right everything comes to an end so why are they continuing to sell more the real answer is because ultimately they know that whatever they're selling right now it's all tied up to all these big central fucking banks and eventually when all the markets overall globally not just here are done crash 
that's when they come in and say, oh, government bailout. Or are you going to let the economy go to zero? All the banks will go to nothing and everybody's money will go to nothing. All their 401ks will go to nothing. Everything will go to nothing. The government being the government is going to do what they did famously in 2008 and come in and say, oh, by the Constitution and all the trust that has been thrown to me and put on me. You, you heard this here, okay? Just remember, you heard this here, maybe months down the line. Maybe, if it goes that long. <laughs> remember this. Or maybe you would hear it again on, an, on, a, on a copycat or somebody who rips off my info as, as, as lately and tries to relate it back in their channel. Just remember you heard something like this here before you hear it wrong somewhere else or the diluted version somewhere else, the synthetic version somewhere else. Um, eventually... They will come out, the government will come out, executive order, bailout. Everybody gets bailed out. Money will come to you. You'll get your money. Don't worry. It's just the overall sentiment globally is going to be the reason why these bailouts are happening. It's not because these banks that brought every economy down to its fucking knees so that all they can do, the people on top in these banks, and whoever they're in bed with, the other one percenters, they can all take that money that they've been harvesting for the last 12 years, ripping off from people's backs from the bottom, like a mosquito, reaching down, sucking blood up top, and when it's done, it flies off to go find another victim, or in this case, rebuild over again. So when the market crashes, as they said, every economic cycle ends with a, a recession. It doesn't. If it's, if it's built correctly, it doesn't. But the reason why is because it's a cycle for them. They do this every 10 to 15 years, to 12 years mostly. Almost everybody, that even non-investors know this, that I just said, what I just said, you guys all know this. All, all of you knew this, even before investing, that, oh, you've heard, you must have heard something about every 12 years there's a recession. Yeah, but it's not because that's part of life and that's how it works, no. It's because that's the cycle that these blood-sucking monsters are doing and practicing and going over to go ahead and, <laughs> you know, take money from down here in an overall percentage. I mean, we're a huge number. So even if they rip off 1% from us, that's trillions of dollars. And they go and split it amongst themselves because they're a lesser amount. So what happens, each one takes a big, I mean, big 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 amount big amount when it comes to personal and they short the market on the way down making money on the way down and then they start to recycle again for the next 12 years so that the next 12 years the next people are the people in that 12 years are getting screwed the people that are living they're screwed in fees payments everything is built back on their backs and then it gets good stuff we're changing a lot of the fundamentals in it but that's just the way that this world that we live in works it's 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 a world where a dog has to eat another dog unfortunately it doesn't need to be that way we all can live in peace and harmony and uh, money and you know everybody can have theirs what's coming to you is coming to you but these guys are greedy enough they have lifestyles that just does not acquire a normal living it's beyond lavish and somebody has to pay for it and that somebody can't be them it has to be us and that's how they view it so when it happens just remember again ab was the one to tell you that for many times in detail why the government will be the person that will bail us out it's not going to be no hedge fund paying you back which again once you sink in what i'm telling you and you put it together if it makes sense to you you will understand that, oh, okay, someone like King Griffin is not going no, to no fucking prison. I know you don't want to hear this, but do I, am I a person who tells you what you want to hear? Like these out there that most people flock to? No. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what, you, what I, I, you should hear or what I know and what I believe. You don't take it? No problem. Go to the 
clickbait channels and go to the thumbnails and go to people who are getting shit faced on their uh, lives and 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 ask them questions that <coughs> the answer doesn't even make sense to. It's not even a correct answer. Yes, Tony. I just looked down. I will say hi to everybody then here, by the way. But the last comment, I just just came right across my attention. Yes, we will, in a form, be paying for our own MOAS. How? Because after the government bailout, who's going to be paying taxes? Who's going to rebuild this nation? Who built this nation? Was it the Stanleys? The Citadels? The Berkshire Hathaways? Fuck no. It was built on our backs. They take credits. They live the lavish life of it. But you don't have to. You don't have to be a tyrant and whatever and go and be a... Uh, a, 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 a <laughs> what's the best word to put here? Uh, it's not even coming to my head because I'm getting so emotional right now. Um, we, you don't have to go like you can only save what you can save and as if you can save yourself and you know this stuff in the back of your head then you know how to go about it and you can become wealthy yourself does that mean you become like one of these guys uh, yeah, again everybody's different you speak for yourself but for me um, I don't need to be like that or take from someone in order for me to make my living and I found that freedom and that independence at 18 years old. Not because that's the age that I came adult and That's the age that I woke up out of the darkness. In that age, I went and fucking sat down, wrote a plan that covers my life from 18 to all the way up to 30 fucking one years old. And it all was being planned and written and organized around, revolving around the fact that I would not be working for any corporate or I would not be working for another man other than my self or whatever I partner with so I have skin in the game 21 comes around just as I drew in that plan 21 comes around I opened up my first business and ever since then it's been follow up those goals write those goals and plans and go up on them how are you going to execute them write a plan a blueprint become oceans 11 or oceans 12 of your own fucking life Let me say hi and see if there is any questions <laughs> to people. <laughs> um, thanks, by the way, uh, Jeffrey and Pabloco and Jubes White for reporting the price. Appreciate it. Uh, Richard Mock, good afternoon, brother. And, oh, sup the boss. Thanks for the price uh, report as well. Um, Corbin, yo, AB, you see Sundial buying back, bought 15 million on June 14th alone. Yeah, um, we had um, somebody on our Discord shared a screenshot a few days ago with uh, even newer ones, like new, newer stock buyback. Well, you guys also have to remember, like Sundial have said that they were going to do this last... Uh, what was it last was it qu last quarter or the quarter before that i think it was yeah the third it was in the fourth quarter of 2021 yeah fourth quarter this last fourth quarter they reported that they will be buying in this uh, by the end of this year they'll be buying I, remember, I forgot the amount of shares i think it was 150 million shares or whatever but they were doing buybacks um i still i still see them doing Perhaps, again, we don't know, but I still see them doing the reverse stock split so that they, uh, you know, so that they can go ahead. I mean, that's why they're getting probably buying back these shares as well. They could be. But but the reverse stock split, uh, suggestions or anything. If it was up to me, I would give it to you the way you guys want it. <laughs> but that's what the CEO himself said on the, in the first quarter earning. Was it? Yeah. It was the first or the fourth quarter in the same time he also reported that he said that he said that if we must do a reverse stock split to get the ticker symbol to above a dollar so we could align ourselves with the regulations of nasdaq to stay on the nasdaq market then we will do that and so be it that's exactly what he said not me the ceo of sundar so if that's the case ladies and gentlemen then that would be the case that doesn't take away still 
uh, from obviously Sundial. I've made some lives before said how you can avoid um, like, you know, stuff like that. There is ways like, you know, if I ever hear if you ever if I'm in a stock, for example, I'm a step away from Sundial, but I'm gonna have an example. If I was in a stock and I hear rumbles and rumors about it doing a reverse stock split and it's uh, this cheap at the time when they made those rumors, it was in the 60s and the 70s of cents. It wasn't down here yet uh, in the 30s and almost in the higher 20s. Um, when it drops, like when it dropped to the 30s and the 20s, for me, if my average was 50 or 60 cents, I would personally, and again, this is just an example for me. You know, I'm talking about some a, a random example here. I would go ahead and whatever, if the rumors are about a five to one or a 10 to one stock split, whatever the case, I would go ahead and incorporate that at a cheaper price. If I'm able to buy at 27, 28 cent, 25 cent, 30 cent, whatever, which is half, less than half of my original uh, buy-in, you're at one, I'm averaging down, which is good. Two, I'm also maximizing my shares, but most importantly, you have to have conviction in that play. So it's not just about what the hype is on the, if you have conviction in that play, then that's how I personally go about it. I go and uh, one, get utilize the opportunity of averaging down on the stock. That's one, it's two birds with one stone. And the second one, this way I also can um, prepare myself with more shares. So if a reverse stock split happens, I still get to benefit from being more shares. So if I had 100 and they did a 10 to 1, now I have 10 stocks, but those 100 was this is the same equivalence to a 10. But when the stock squeezes, what's more? If I sell 10 shares times whatever, let's say the stock flies to 5 bucks, 10 times 5, 50 bucks versus 100 times 5, that's 500 bucks, right? That's, that's the game there. So what I the reason why I said in my example is I buy more and average down on the bottom so I can incorporate if such thing happens, great. I still have my same amount of shares and when it squeezes, I'm still getting my same numbers that I was planning for for the beginning. If it doesn't go that way and they don't do a reverse stock split, even fucking better. Now I can I can go ahead and, 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 and sell even more for more, right? So. There's always a way, guys, to cover yourself. Uh, each situation is different, but you have to you have to figure out the ways that you can cover yourself. And what are those ways to cover yourself? Um, and once you know them, you'll be you'll be good to go. But most importantly, the conviction in the play. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Javi the Great. How are you doing, brother? Sub the boss, I've driven on the Smoky Mountain, Tennessee. That runs parallel to I-75. Yeah, that's exactly it. Because, you know, in Cincinnati, Ohio, in Ohio here, uh, you know, we run right off of 75, 71, and, uh, and 74. If you were going to go down the any, uh, up to Indiana route, you know, uh, which ultimately puts you in, uh, you know, the Chicago Highway is at 95. Uh, so yeah, so 75, 71, and 74. That's that's what we got down here in, my, in uh, well in Cincinnati. Sanjay, what's up, my friend? Brenda, <laughs> they can find my taxes in the dark, freaking pool. <laughs> Damn right, I don't blame you. These, these fucks up there, they get, anyways, tax loops. And again, this is why if you listen, if you guys by now have listened to my whole thing, breaking that down yet again, and if you bought into that idea or it made sense to you, now with that same diagram about why are they selling more, why, for what purpose, leading it to what, now you get to see, oh, well, that does make sense because when it comes down to paying taxes, when taxes get raised, they're the last ones, that upper class, that 1% class, the 10%. They're the last people to worry about taxes because they got so many tax write-offs and loops and holes that they go through. Nonprofits. 
So who ends up paying the tax? That is needed to build the country back again. The common citizen. What's up, Frankie? How are you, brother? Nice to see you in here, man. Trigger. They don't want to trigger the options chain because obviously you see, we all know what's, hap what's coming in this Friday. Plus the timing, Monday, Tuesday, get people in. A lot of people are looking at the options chain, seeing that it's gigantic. Um, they want to also incorporate the idea of people going to, uh, <laughs> like they want to incorporate the idea of, of day trading. They want people to get used to that. They don't want, again, I told you guys before, the worst thing to them is the hold. Buy, they love it. Hold, heck no. Step away from that. Step away from the button, sir. <laughs> They're gonna arrest you if if if, if you don't press the buy the sell button. <laughs> that's what they that's what they, they they're doing, and they got obviously since they got caught with their pants down because they've been doing it for so many years. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're like they've been doing this for so many years, as far as like you know selling synthetic floats. They've been doing that for so many years. But it didn't matter back then because they already like they it's like it, it's like they okay think of it like a crime I'm, I'm gonna give you this example it's very exotic but bear with me a criminal stabs somebody to death right takes that knife goes and somebody was walking by and saw it they throw this like they whatever they do whatever they knock the guy out they put the knife over the body they put the person over that body they don't kill him and they run away the guy wakes up a little bit later and as soon as he wakes up he sees the police are coming and he's like holding the knife and like now he's the criminal he's the person who killed bear with me now that knife implicated the the person who have nothing to do with it we are the individual that was walking by that had nothing to do with the crime the crime is the shares that we bought and we held because there was a lot of synthetics when there was a lot of demand coming in all these brokers were given the green light saying don't ever let business go away when i okay i own businesses in the retail sector so one of them was a cell phone store whenever somebody walked in the instructions that I was taught when I had my job back when I was a teenager before I owned my own phone store is that no one walks out without investing or paying at least something. No one walks in and walks out without paying something. That's your job as a salesman to make them buy. So they, the brokers in this situation on a bigger scale now, they were giving the same thing always. Don't turn around, t turn away business. If somebody's coming in and saying, here's uh, whatever X amount of dollars for this share even if you don't have it we will make it happen but take the money don't fucking turn it down take the money so they kept doing it and that's why they continue to doing it now but why they're doing it now versus why they did it before are two different things why they did it before is because before you knew it if it was crime you don't know until now we all know synthetics are all around there's a lot of synthetics do you, each one of you, personally know how many synthetics you have in your account? Because they're all with us, right? If synthetics are sold, that means synthetics are with us. How many synthetics are in your portfolio? You can go ahead and call your broker. Tell them, hey, uh, I want to just call. Are my shares real? <laughs> of course, they're going to tell you real. They're not going to tell you, no. Uh, 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 well, out of your... 500 chairs there is 400 chairs that are not real but they're still yours <laughs> lawsuit up the ass uh, and that's why they're all remember back in march and february when i broke the whole diagram for all of you guys you go back and see it in those lives back then said that each single person had money stakes in this whole diagram this was a ponzi scheme for 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 so all of them the broker is in on it the market makers are in on it the feds are in on it and i broke down why because they all 
stand to make money out of it. It was profitable for all parties. People still confuse the feds for being, uh, you know, like a government body and people just don't understand that it's not. <laughs> They're in it for money too. They're trying to make money, guys. And that's how they do it. So it, that's why you don't hear nothing from the DTCC. The DTCC is the reservoir of all shares. Why are they not coming out from day one and say, stop? We already reached 530 million shares. What is What else is trying to be processed? Because the market maker goes to the DTCC. But when he goes there with bags of money and says, hey, do you want this to keep coming or do you want to stop? I think you guys know the answer to that question, right? So that's why back then it was different than what, why they're continuing to sell now. Because back then, by the time they sold it, you're still looking at it. It's in your phone. It's on your laptop. It's in your brokerage. Yeah, I own 2,500 or uh, 200 shares of Microsoft. It's right here. Do you really know how many uh, are all 200 real shares? Do you know that? You don't. Neither will you ever know that. So to them, they knew that back then when they sold it to you, it was a different dynamic. People didn't know all the stuff we know they know today. They don't know. They didn't have this buy and hold situation or mindset. That was this institutional thing. Retail always bought and sold ASAP. If they saw it go up 5-10%, sell. They saw it go down 5-10%, sell. Cut your losses. They even ingrained it in your heads. That's why people like that. Like If you talk to any institutional investor or anybody that comes to you and talks about, uh, oh, I've been investing for a long time in a market. Uh, anal anal analytical advisors, speak to any of them. They will always tell you, oh, have your... Sell, 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 sell button right there. If it goes down 10%, you need to have your levels set up. You can't let your investment go down. Well, if you made the right investment from the get-go and you did all your DD and you had your conviction in the play and you see it obviously for what it is on that company, you don't have any of that to worry about. Why put a stock sell-off limit? Because the market maker triggers those. They see those. They see those. When you put a limit sell order, they see those. They can yank those out of the way. So if they want to do a sell-off and they see major orders are, oh, at this point and at this point, at this point, they could drop a stock down just to trigger those orders to further make a sell-off, to make it become sell-off, like a, more like a sell-off, especially for with big shares, and eventually take the price st stock down and scoop up and put it back up. They see all that stuff. That's why I never, ever got into any play that I don't have conviction in. Unless I'm day trading, that's a different story. Day trade, I'm not doing any uh, set limit loss on, on, on my... I, again, this is just me. I'm not advising anybody. I'm just talking about my experience. Because on day trade, <laughs> I again, it depends on how you skin this cat, all right? There you go again with that analogy. Prometheus, take it easy on me with this one. Because I know you... <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna right away talk about this skin in the cat of the of, of the uh, that that saying that you know comes from Missouri. But anyways, um, in a day trade, for me, it's 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 like I look at like for me personally, I look at the volume. Volume obviously is the main recipe to this whole thing. It's like the fire under a meal. You can't cook something without fire. So you need fire. What is the fire? Volume. I need that volume. And then you need to have a better understanding, even of a manipulated level two data, but you need to have a better understanding of the technical chart if you're day trading to see, even if the technicals are played with, still you can see a lot of things, resistance levels, support levels. And if you could vo see all those, and now technology is even making it so much easier for you. It, it calculates the EMAs for you and all that stuff. Golden cross, death cross, everything. <laughs> Jesus cross, cross, everything. That's crazy. And all that, it's just a day trade. You just need to know that for that. But for me, I will never get into any long play without having conviction in it.
fuck what anybody else is saying. I know the dynamics of the market. I've been in the market for years. So I know how it operates, and everybody has a different. Have, do you think all the traders think like Warren Buffett or everybody thinks the same? They don't. Everybody has a different way of how they approach it. For me, I like to bring everything down to its simplest form. De decipher it down to its simplest form. Make it very simple for me and possibly for anyone else to re-approach this whole thing. It's not complicated, honestly. And I know that when you come in fresh and new, it's, it's a lot to take in at once, but it's not a one-day thing. That's why I've always said that experience in this market is something you can't pay for and you can't get unless you spend time. With time, you'll get all that experience. But technology has even made it so much better. Now you get to watch AB Investments. He, he will give you an overview, a summary over, over all that stuff, all those years. <laughs> you'll watch people like Pantheon and get like, you know, all soaked in with all the great information and the DD that he does on a deeper level that I haven't seen around. You get to watch people, uh, other people like uh, Super Steven, just another ape. You get to watch him coming in and showing you or giving you an insight on how he thinks on the inside and how he approaches the market. You don't necessarily need to agree with any of us, but you, you, you could definitely learn a lot from what, what each single one of us could bring or to bring to the table. And if you take all that and sink it in, you just, you, you just, you just like literally like you just, it's like kind of harvesting a, a crop. You harvesting so much and so little time. This is crazy. This is the true wealth in this whole thing. This play was done a long time ago. I'm telling you, we don't need no fucking catalyst. It's, it's, it's there no matter what. They can't get rid of crime until, as I complete that example with the knife, since we're all sitting with that knife and we have it right now, they need to close the case. How can they close the case? How can a detective close a crime? How can they close a case? When they find either the criminal, charge the guy, or find somebody, a, a fall, fall off person for it, or they just keep it on the shelf saying, we can never disclose this. Well, in this case, you can't because we have the evidence. You have all the synthetics in your accounts, all of us. You have all their crime and all their dirty shit. And they know this. They know this. That's why I told you it's long gone. That's why they're moving over to a different realm. They're becoming market makers in the crypto world. Look at the far cry. You got the commissioner uh, of Georgia, the Fed, uh, talking about... Uh, Oh, what we're seeing happening with the crypto market is a reason why we need to have a far out cry to regulate the crypto market. Because they want to be on the bottom over there and own most of that float so that when they do start doing their crap again over there, they'll be doing it here and there. However, here things are changing by 2024, 2020. 3 2024 20, we need we're gonna have much 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 better uh system like we're gonna have a blockchain uh you know like system where in the stock market you're gonna be able to sell and buy and most likely you're not gonna have the ability for their bullshit bullshit except whatever they're working on in the crypto realm to try to become market makers in and become the, the 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 guys because without them there's no liquidity we provide liquidity they're even just delayed today the bitcoin etf the a 3c or a phase 12 p some bitcoin etf i've seen it i think i scanned like scribe like i scanned over it um and they delayed it till a further notice why do you think all that is happening because they're putting up the whole blueprint so that they can put it live when the lawmakers, the lawmakers uh, that are also recipients, camp their campaigns are recipients of these um, market makers. <sighs> I'm trying to watch all my words that I'm saying um, since we are on YouTube live. <laughs> and, and these guys will give them the green light to go ahead 
yeah, implement the system and the software and whatever system you came up with. Simple as that. Timing is everything. This, like I said again, this, this thing has is, is, is already been done over a year ago, guys. Anybody that's sitting here or anybody that thinks that we're still waiting on a catalyst, I'm sorry. I'm not, uh, no disrespect to anybody, but it's very evident that you've been in the market for s such a short time. That's it. That's all I can tell you with that because you might understand dynamics of how things go from here to here. You might have a very uh, uh, deep analysis on things right now. But unfortunately, you don't see the backstory and you don't see the back end. And the only way you can see that stuff is through their transactions over the years. The key point here, over the years with time. That's the only way. Anybody could come out and rip ABs or any 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 other prominent uh, YouTubers like um, to me, I, I, I will always band with my brothers, you know, with Pantheon and just another ape, uh, Super Steven. Uh, and 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 I, I haven't personally spoken or met uh, Boss Blunts, but I like the think tank. I'm in the think tank. I like their Discord. I like their, uh, you know, their their scheme. I like what he's about. The guy himself, emotionally, you could tell that he's not leading people astray uh, and providing some bullshit, getting shit faced on the live like some other people. You know, all they do is rip off. By the end of the day, Intel. Or information by watching other channels they take their information from there and then they go and even do a terrible job at uh, relating it to their to their people they put a nice catchy thumbnail kick clickbait on their video and people go flock in there and now they're seeing somebody getting shit faced and they want to go ahead and uh, take whatever they're saying to the bank um, like they're they're saying it like they're the ones who came up with it and they're saying it wrong because again once you copy someone and you don't fully put enough time to at least copy them really well you can see a counterfeit you can see a counterfeit a mile away um let's read what we have here <laughs> I just still like Brenda's. <laughs> I like Brenda's. Uh, the whole <laughs> they can find my taxes in the dark freaking pool. <laughs> That's the best comment of the day for me. Much love to you, Brenda. Uh, from the Great Smokies, I might do another fun live at night with from the uh, the uh, in the jacuzzi. Man, that stuff is relaxing. But yeah, uh, more in here. Tony saying, so we are going to pay our own. Oh, I've seen that one. Uh, it's crazy how we see it in front, uh, in front of our eyes, and do nothing. Well, that's the thing, uh, Tony. That's what I meant earlier. As in, like, we don't have to retaliate by uprise and whatever, because that brings up more issues to the pl plate, you know, on our plate. Because we are the ones who are. If when people go, okay, I'm not that I'm not I'm condo not that I'm condoning this talk or I'm saying this, but I'm explaining. A side note here when people say we're not gonna do nothing or should we do something it's always about like protests right or riots in some other cases but protests don't necessarily help us in this play with this and why I do I say this why do I think this because they could easily implant anything in any protest we could have a peaceful protest whatever that someone like cat striker can lead and it, it, it could be just by holding banners and flying planes with banners about AMC and apes and all that stuff and Kenny Griffin lied and all the under oath and all that stuff but it's easy for the other side to easily implant somebody in there and while you know everybody's peacefully protesting somebody could throw out of nowhere you'll see a bottle a Molotov that's just being thrown into a building or on some cops or something next thing you know it turns into a frenzy if they ever go back to see who it, who's that piece of shit that did that, that most likely could be tied for a mule that was placed in that. And again, pro protest turns from being a peaceful protest to something completely different. But the media is not going to take your side, right? They're going to say it as it is. Oh, 
all the apes are getting angry and if now they're getting physical and all that stuff we're gonna make ourselves look like the bad guy when we're the victims for in this whole saga and that could obviously kick it to a different realm that we don't want because obviously we're in this for the money anybody that comes in here and, and says oh we in this to change the system I'm sorry to tell you this this is probably not the best channel for you I'm all about making my money and taking care of my people my family myself and goals and taking care of the things that I can save and fix personally being in a movement like this that's my way of helping the change going to do something and all that stuff this is not the right channel for you I'm just telling you you could go somewhere else I'm not gonna re relate what maybe those drunk <laughs> assholes out there that rips content off they maybe they can be enthusiasts I just found you guys a job go be enthusiasts try to rally people freaking Al from Boston comes out says er, like in, in when the market opens he makes a video says expect AMC to go up today <laughs> it was obvious that the stock was already going up <laughs> tell me something ahead of time my friend <laughs> Um, let's see more comments. <laughs> Gary Trevino, how are you, my friend? Uh, how is the heat? Uh, it's 110 here in South Texas. Now, that's a lot hotter than here. It's surprisingly okay. So, it's the sun is direct here in these mountains, and if you're in the sun, yeah, you will get scorched. But there is a nice breeze, again, courtesy of all the trees and the greenery, I'm assuming here. So I like it. I like it. It's not, and it's not as bad as what you're describing, Gary, down in South Texas and 110 and all that stuff. Yeah, that's, that's too intense. I'll be doing a live inside the swimming pool filled with ice. <laughs> Look, Jeffrey's saying 120 in Arizona. No, no, thank you. I'm good on that. AV, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Nice to see you in here, my friend. Max Payne is 15 as of today. Uh, is it reasonable to say that they are going to try to beat it down to under 15 for under uh, for end of day on Friday? Um, well, AV, I again, I, since I'm on the change of scenery on a sub, small little vacay, I'm not looking at the stuff. I do have my laptop with me, though. So I will look at all that stuff tonight and I'll see exactly, yes, where for sure our max pain is. But if it is, let's just go off face value right now. If it is $15, then yeah, they would definitely be trying to beat that. But here's the thing. Um, the, the true pain for them, as we've seen the whole options chain for this month, um, you know how many are losing their bets on $145 strike price. Yeah, I can't look at it right now, but you guys feel free to go look. Just go look how many people before the market closed, if they're not already closed. Ah, it closed 30 minutes ago. <laughs> but go look and see what was the data on how many people bought the $145 strike price. Most likely, obviously, months ago. This is what I was warning people about too months ago when I was saying look at look at July 15 back in June if you remember look at July 15 and keep that in the back of your head I can't give financial advice I can't tell you what to do and what not to do but when I say look at this and then explain my content if you follow through with me on every bit of the way you would be able to kind of like I formulate I formulate what I'm thinking and what I see into an open topic which is because obviously I'm not you know gonna try to tell somebody to either buy or not buy but I will give you the case of what's happening and the things that you should watch out for that you know you might not been uh, either looking at by any means or anything because everybody's different at, as far as levels of where they at in the trading uh, market so when you look at that stuff back then like back in June you guys can fact check me on this most of you remember this talk uh, that hey keep your eye on July 15 look at that options chain look at where all that concentration so it's unfortunate to see that we had a ludicrous amount of numbers uh, 
that were you know all on the hundred and forty five dollar strike price and that was again that was a uh, gambling bets that's what they are technically because people who buy those options months like talking about like six months ago uh three four months ago buy into that point they're betting on the idea it's a 50 50 though it's not bad odds in a way because it's either rips amc rips by hit now or it doesn't and now you just lose the problem is at that point how much did you over leverage yourself Hmm. That's why people who go with options end up turning into shills by default, because when they lose all their money, they leverage all their money into options on uh, AMC or GME, and it obviously is not met, and they're going for the all-in, and they put the all-in, and that bad side of the 50% is met, you meet the bad side, you don't meet, it's out of the money, you just lost all your money. You even don't have any more money to even leverage back into buying stock, or if you if you had stock, now you're looking at okay if I want to further make my position bigger because I know how option thinkers think. A again, with time, you guys would know all this stuff. Um, they will be very inclined to go ahead and sell from their shares to buy back more and be dividing both. Just letting you know, guys, this is not a. I'm not telling people not to buy options. I'm not telling people uh, to uh, buy options as well at the same time because I, I I do it. But you, well, one, you have to know every little thing about options first. Two, you got to remember that the stock that you're putting options on is the most heavily manipulated stock of, of all time. Keep that in the back of your head as well. Three, don't over leverage yourself for, for, for Christ's sake. Don't over leverage yourself, not just in investing in general, but on the options. When, when you do that, and it normally works out of greed, people want to go ahead and get into options because a hun, uh, one, one option is equal to 100 shares. If I was to buy 100 shares of AMC, I would have to pay a good amount in the thousands. Well, I can bypass all that by, yeah, just buying a couple of options for... Uh, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, depending on when it expires or what strike price you're buying. The higher it is, the less it is, because <laughs> that $145 strike price was so luring. They lured all these people in because, at, like months in advance, it was only like $40, 43, 48 bucks. People were flocking it to buy that back then. Because back then it was like, yeah, AMC is going to go to uh, at least 100, yeah, or 70, or at least get the new all-time high again. And that's where, you know, it, greed ruined these people from within. These people are not bad. They just over leveraged themselves in the wrong strategical manner. At the end of the day, to each their own, I'm just giving you guys, I'm again dropping my heart and my experience out to all of you guys. Um... And uh, obviously, I'm available for any questions, as always. <clears throat> if I don't know a question, I will tell you I don't know. But the full, cool thing about it is I surround myself with freaking geniuses, man. Uh, as Pantheon always says, uh, who are much smarter than myself. And, and uh, like, you know, if I don't personally have an answer to something, I'm not going to give you a what if, uh, a here you go answer. You know, those that here when you go to a restaurant, um, and, you, and you're like, hey, I want a sandwich. I want a, I want a cheesesteak sandwich, whatever, a hoagie. And then next thing you know, it comes like, here you go. You don't want a here you go sandwich, right? <laughs> and you don't want to hear a here you go answer. You want an answer to the question. Obviously, if it's not financial question, uh, if I don't know it, do not. So I won't give you a here you go answer. I will ask these people that I surrounded myself with. So I kind of recruited my team basis not that they're there just for that reason no they're there so that i can learn from them and they can learn from me and and it could be an ecosystem where it's a revolving door amongst all of us to get that in, that that intel amongst ourselves no one has any ill will toward the other no one wants to take from someone else no one wants to take from him or him nothing it's all love we just don't welcome all that crap where if you don't have nothing to add to the table to bring to the table then what are you doing on this table stop ripping off people's information 
and their time that they put on this and go and try to put your name on it in your own place and don't even watch you guys are gonna start seeing thumbnail a b <laughs> bit click a b <laughs> just to clickbait people in and then after that they will be like you know what this is a really good clickbaiter he does really care so why is he clickbaiting because unfortunately the community goes to the clickbaits take that that counterfeit the information from the real channels and spread fud and stupidity and not common sense and then you know <laughs> they come to my channel like or to pantheon's channel and they start saying uh oh I, like they they take all their frustrations out with us because they know we're going to give you the, the right the, the real deal you know we're going to give you an answer in a way you guys kind of know these thumbnail or these big click clickers that you can't rely on them much but you still watch it anyways just in case for hopeism in case they tell you something that makes you feel good before you go head into the weekend <laughs> or the week or so you can sleep at night but at the end of the day they're not giving you shit go ahead go into any of these channels see what they're giving you nine times out of ten the video has nothing to do with the title of the video or the clickbait and the thumbnail and eight times out of ten they're just sitting in there talking about uh you know guys yeah um you know we all know this like it's common sense by now um but yeah let me let me crack another beer and they they're not they're not giving you shit and anything they give you they're stealing it they're stealing it from other channels and they don't even they don't even give it to you correct we had some <laughs> Uh oh, Petty AB has been activated. <laughs> Maybe that's because of the change of the scenery. It's all in the mountains. It's all because of the Smoky Mountains. It's 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 Pigeon Forge's fault. It's Tennessee's fault. It's not AB's fault. AB is not petty for a long time. Trust me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh. Prometheus, fake hookers or real hookers? <laughs> Which would you rather have? <laughs> Oops, my bad. I did it again. I meant real hookah or fake hookah. <laughs> oh, you did make me laugh, Prometheus. You predicted it. So you do have the crystal ball. <laughs> Tater Tot, enjoy your vacay, AB. Thanks, Tater Tot. It's not necessarily a vacation. It's just a change of scenery. Um, again, I just know what, what was going to happen this week, and it's perfect to be like here enjoying this away from that, for the roller coaster we're going to be in for this week. And next week, I'm be back, charged, ready to go, ready for more, uh, you know, to obviously cover more news. If Guys, after, the, after this, I'm going to post the... Um, the Discord, or if anybody, Jeffrey, if any of the mods are in here, please, guys, if you can, because I don't have my laptop, I'm doing this on my phone. If you guys can put the Discord link in the channel, please put it in the in there, so that we can get people. Again, it's it's free, guys. It's free. So when I do report news, some of the stuff that I covered today, I reported it late last night, um, you know, on the Discord, on the news tab of the Discord. So once you join, you're in there automatically. Everybody will see that you're in there, and then after that, you could just, you know, people, are, we're always talking in there. So if you're not on a live and you want to know what's happening, it's always on Discord. Discord is where it's at, guys. Honestly, Discord is where it's at. Um, so yeah, join the Discord. It's free. Follow me on Twitter as well. My link is on there. Um, I'm not too heavy. I wasn't too heavy. I might be getting more heavy on Twitter just to tweet things out faster. But yeah, I reported all that, most of that stuff late last night on the discord so most of the people that are on discord all the people on discord must have saw this news uh, and i was doing my breakdown on them today so if you want to stay tuned with everything and get to uh, be on the lookout for everything uh, that's the best place to be as well like i said it's free it's just like a texting app and a calling app because sometimes we have uh rooms where we're like you know we'll get in and we all talk and back and forth to each other everybody um that's much easier to set up than you know having to go set up a live and everything uh, and be in front of everybody. No, that one is just like on the phone. Everybody's connected. It could be hundreds or even thousands of people. 
um, I've seen in some uh, big discords. Um, and we all are talking. You have a question, you wanna get an answer to it before the next live, guys knows when it goes on. Obviously Discord. So join a uh, uh, way to skin a cat, <laughs> but I can think of a thousand ways to skin Kenny G <laughs> and make it last longer. You guys saw the video of that ape that uh, was sitting outside of uh, the setup, <laughs> right outside of Citadel, and was, you know, with the sign saying the end is near, blah, 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 all that stuff. Dude, that was, a, he's a G, man, for that. True, true, true legend for that. <laughs> Jeffrey, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you later after this live. I'll tell you who it is. Most of the people in here know who it is because I've, you know, seen uh, it's, it was mind baffling or blowing to me to see some of the people that are here and even in pantheons entertain that nonsense and that that garbage. Uh, and and I couldn't believe that they didn't even call it out too, like, hey, shit that like besides just rambling and rambling in the background whenever that person or that entity was trying to give out info one it was false because it wasn't said correctly and two it was yanked and it was obvious from from well, a lot of it from my channel and then many other channels <laughs> i'll tell you if you want to know in names brenda you you welcome no thank you for listening and uh, putting it. That's why I said, guys, like, the, we don't, like, again, the catalyst, we don't need. We already had the catalyst. The catalyst has been done over, over a year ago now. This is just all about the, the idea, the whole idea now, if you're still asking yourself why or until when will they continue to do this, I'll tell you now. They're going to continue to do this until they crash down the whole market, not from stocks, not only from stocks crash down the whole global economy when the whole global economy or specifically here the US economy collapses the government will be put at a pedestal and said and asked what are you going to do here what are you going to do here are you going to let the economy collapse and automatically become a third world country or are you going to bail out the banks because a lot of people let me put this question in your heads. Why didn't the government bail out 2008 via giving the money to the citizens? Why did they give it back to the banks? The same people that brought down the economy. Food for thought, right? <laughs> this is exactly why I'm telling you this is history repeating itself here. So I told you, you have to be in the market for years to know the game that is being played. You could be as sophisticated and philosophical as possible but some sometimes when you look at it like you could be smarter than your pops but when you when you sit with your pops and pops your pops tell you something that you just don't see you don't agree with and somehow they come out right at the end you'll be like man what the hell i know i'm smarter than you pops but how because again doesn't matter how you're smarter than this person or not they got years on you around in this world so your pops know a whole lot more about things or came across things than you did. That's what the odds are. So that's why you listen. So I said experience is, is the biggest factor or the biggest help you can have. And you can accumulate that only with time in this, in this, especially in this realm, in this market. So when they collapse the whole economy, the government is going to be on that pedestal and it's going to be like, hey, we need to repay or bail out the entire economy that's why when you see our play is being heavily manipulated through the jp morgans the goldman sachs they're all tied in the 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 the, the market maker all of them the market makers tied up to the bank these banks when all the shit is with them they will also tie it up to all the etfs they'll tie it up to everything to everything that's why back in history I'll say a hundred years ago. <laughs> That's why certain entities went up and uprised, were uprising against banks. Banks were the idea of all the root of all fucking evil, guys. 
That's what banks are. That's what they do. That's how they make their money. So when they collapse the whole economy, the government comes in and says, we're bailing out the economy. They're not going to say we're bailing out AMC and GME. Because at that point, they're going to be, is, AMC and GME is going to be within the overall package. And they're going to label it the collapse and of the of the economy of 2022 or 2023 whichever one you want it to be or whichever one ends up being the case and they will bail it out you will get your money i will get my money all the holders that withstand all the craziness and don't fall to all the confusion that they are hearing in some shit channels sorry again I, this is not ab you guys know me but when i get emotional like this and all that you know things come out fast uh, without pre-thinking it but i care that's why that's why i do it like this why th this is why this happens otherwise i could be fucking chilling spending out uh two hours in my jacuzzi or in the hookah or going looking at a bear and feeding them berries or some shit <laughs> which i'm still gonna do by the way <laughs> but when it's all said and done for some of you out there and we could take a bet if you would like to say if you would like to put it when this shit is all said and done You'll see the media, you're anticipating that you're going to wake up one day and you see, oh, AMC and GME broke the economy. And now the whole economy is down because of this. If you're thinking this is how it's going to go down that route, you're correct about one thing. AMC and GME are going to hurt them. <laughs> but the other thing that you're completely false about is that that's not how the way is going to go down in the media and that's not how it's going to be advertised. We're going to get our money. This is going to be one of the files of the whole bailout of why the bailout is happening they're making a reason for the government to go ahead to convince the general public why they need to step in and do uh, a bailout to these banks you and i know that these entities are terrible because we're involved with this play the general public they don't they look at these banks as their uh the banks that store their money they don't see a life without banks this is why also they're putting all their fingers in their hands on the crypto realm. Why? Because crypto replaces banks and they're trying to make sure that they are the ones who are controlling the one and only threat to their ecosystem. Yes, I said it. Any of you who thinks they're watching some institutional channel who says that crypto can't replace banks and whatnot, you fucking know sh nothing. Nothing about how the blockchain works. And I'm not saying I'm a guru or a specialist on either. But I know how to understand stuff, information when I go and look for it. <laughs> and I've been trading in crypto since the birth of fucking Bitcoin. I got spurned in Bitcoin back in the 2013, 2014 timeframes and even after. When you couldn't even invest in Bitcoin and crypto here in the U.S. You had to, and none of these other uh, coins were there. It was just Bitcoin for that, that time. And then when, when I was investing in it, it was all in Europe or in Canada. <laughs> and one day I would wake up and it's like, oh, I can't have access to my account. Why? I call. There's no, there's no company anymore. <laughs> I'm laughing about it right now. But back then, oh my God, I used to, I lost my shit many times. Because I believed in the concept of what Bitcoin is, could do and what obviously the cryptocurrency and the crypto chain could do the blockchain would do to the future and to humanity, especially with its power of overtaking all that away. No more escrow, no more banks, all done within crypto. And yet it is absolutely unhackable. You're like, okay, well, AB, you think you're smart? How come Blockify uh, last year announced they got hacked and how are all, all these robberies on the bitcoin or like these these blockchains are happening they're not happening on the blockchain they're hacking the company's accounts and then taking bitcoins from there there's two things you got to remember i'm not going to go too deep into all of this so you would be like hey we're here for amc and gme maybe but there's hot wallets and there's cold wallets there is absolutely no fucking way for them to hack your cold wallet because you are the only entity that have the keys to it. 
the only downside to it is that the cold wallets, if you want to do any transfers or anything, you have to have those keys with you every time so that you can prove that, you know, if you're carrying it on a flash drive, by the way, Martin, I know you're in here. If you're in here still, brother, this also goes out to you. Uh, if you're putting in, obviously, your flash drive and you're putting in those characters in and to have it every time, that's the only way. It's an inconvenience. It's more time consuming. But it gives you the the safety of, oh, I can sleep at night. No one is going to... Uh, Kim Jong-un from North Korea is not going to hack my crypto account and take my uh, Bitcoins or whatever, Dogecoins or Ethereums. And the hot wallets, that's where the, all that other crap happens. They do have their pros and cons too. The con is what I just said. They can through the provider, through the system. And most of the times, and this is not validated, but I'll tell you my thought on it because I've been in this for a long time. Most of the times, it's these fucking same people that we're battling in the stock market that are doing this. Simple. Why is it even better? Because there's zero regulations on it. You do not hear any hacking on any cold wallets, but you hear a lot of hacking on uh, hot wallets, obviously. They don't say it like this because they want everybody to be confused about it, the idea. So by the time everybody has to catch on is when the whole thing is implemented within the system and that becomes the system. And then you have no choice but to get with the fucking program. That's what they want. But now, no, be away from it. Run away from it. Run away from it. <laughs> we'll scoop up all the float. That's how, that's how they're going about it. Cold wallets? How many stories have you heard when 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 a man had X amount of freaking Bitcoins and he had them on a flash drive and then he, he but bit, back in the days, Bitcoin was worth nothing. So he forgot it. He left it in, the, in his house and the house got demolished. He went and paid the city of that county uh, and told them that he will pay them 20% because at that time, that flash drive was containing over like uh, 60 or 100 million dollars worth and he was like I'll pay 20% to the city if you go one you grant me the digging rights and you go and help me uh, do excavations and try to get that flash drive back yeah <laughs> let's see if we have any questions here uh, Prometheus, at AB, exactly 100% correct. A lot of YouTubers are pulling the copying other people's stuff, calling it their own. Yeah. And then can't even articulate the information correctly. That's that's my thing. Like, one, if anybody gives... I'll speak for myself personally here. And I'll speak for Pantheon in this, in this regard only because he said it on his own channel before. He said it to me before. He said, like, I wouldn't... We wouldn't have a problem if people give you the credit. Like, hey, I was chilling at such and such channel today. I've seen this. Okay, here's my take on this. Like, I wouldn't have a problem. In fact, I want people to do this. I would love for that to be the case because I want it to be a revolving door of information around the whole community. But when you fucking cast out the person out of the whole thing, equation, you take that information, you don't even understand it. And you go and you try to, like you said, Prometheus, articulate on it on your own, getting hammered, saying everything completely wrong and unfortunately the people that are watching or viewing uh it's either that they're shy to call them out or they also are in the dark themselves too they don't know shit themselves too and they're okay they yeah let's go what is that that looks like a fire dude are you sure we should be walking in there no 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 it's a facade you know what a mirage is <laughs> that doesn't look like a mirage bro no 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 it's okay ah it's hot <laughs> Hey, uh, it is what it is, Prometheus. Um, Tyler Thompson, what do you think AMC is going to open at? What, what, in, like in what, in what sense? To, like to what? Like, are you? Is it like some sort of like guess game? Um, it's gonna open at the price that it closed at. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys in here, so I can't see it the price currently where, where it closed out where it's at in the after hours um I, I don't see the basis of the question brother i'm not making fun obviously tyler um 
but I don't know. I don't get like to what direction are we moving with this? Maybe you can, you know, direct me onto what you want out of the question. Like, oh, where do you see? Uh, what, what if, if you're asking me like what's a bracket on AMC? I can answer you differently. Uh, just just tell me what what do you want? Like, or as far as what the what what question do you want to ask me besides uh, a general open question? Veronica, hello, AB at work watching you, man. Veronica, I you are you are my hero. Much love to you, sis. Manjeet, how are you, my friend? Tim Tuna. I like the name. <laughs> Is DWAC a squeeze candidate and meme stock? Well, <clears throat> you got to keep a few things in the back of your head. One, it is, but that's good and bad in the second one. Why? What do I mean by the second one? It's heavily connected, obviously, with Trump. And I feel like it's tied to all everything with it is tied up to that. So if things don't go in the future accordingly with Donald Trump, then that's going to affect that company a lot. However, if you see the data, I have not looked into DWAC to see their short interest, to see what, 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 what like how much fuckery they have done on the stock. If you see it and you've seen it and you have that conviction, or let's say you're, you love uh, Trump as well, then it's definitely a, 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 a squeeze candidate. In fact, just yesterday in the pre-market, I, I did... Uh, you know, if you're in, if you're looking at DWAC, you must already also know Funware, uh, P H U N. If you know P H U N, or you know DWAC. If you know DWAC, you know P H U N. U N. What do I mean by that? Is because they are both on that same algorithm where they trade regularly. I tr was trading P H U N in the pre-market yesterday, and I loved it. I loved it. In fact, I was on a Discord call with some some of you degenerates, uh, fellow degenerates. Because I'm one too. I'm number one degenerate. Um, and as I was doing it at four in the morning, but we were like, you know, in the pre-market. Um, I don't do day trading throughout the market hours. It's always in the pre-market. Uh, maybe in the after hours as well sometimes. But in the market hours, I have hell no. No, 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 no day trading. Um, and yeah, it was beautiful because I made, like I got in it and out of, out of PHUN twice. The first pop, I made 10%. The second one, it was 5%. Great, 15% on the day. Closed it. I was like, I'm good till next week. But that's not the case because I'm a day trader, so I would do it in the pre-market uh, every day. So that's just my thing. My sleeping schedule also got incorporated with it. There's no way I would be asleep before 6 or 7 in the morning. That's just how, how, how it's been for me. It's fun, too. It's a hobby. Day trading is a hobby for me. It's not something that I need to do to live or anything. But it's a hobby, and I'm wonderful at it. I love it. So once you get, once you put all your mind into something, trust me, something will brew. Something is gonna come out from the other side. So hopefully this answers it, Tim. Uh, so DWAC, yes, at any given moment. And yesterday, DWAC moved up at, in the pre-market hours. It was up to thirty percent at some point. Uh huh. You want to fact check me? Go ahead. I, as a day trader, you come across stocks a lot of times, and most of the times, I kid you guys not, I don't know what sector even these stocks are in, because most of the times, I'm in and I'm out within five minutes. I don't give a shit what company it is, what they, what they do. I'm getting the hiccups. Somebody's talking about me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so like it's it's I, I I don't need to know all the other details about it because. The volume is there for me and then a few more things watch this starts becoming a part of other content creators now watch that you want to day trade okay you need to look at the volume first and then it's common sense after that you just take your profit or cut your losses man <laughs> uh, it's so crazy man <laughs> let's see Stanley Haywood who are you talking about call out names Stanley who are you I haven't seen you in here before uh, nice to see you in here my friend he talking about ape father Peter no, I was uh, about to say the same thing Stanley <laughs> no I'm not talking about ape father ape father 
he 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 doesn't give you information. He doesn't. I don't even think he rips off shit. He's just a shill. He just talks shit. He just wants. He's an entertainer. Honestly, I have more respect for Ape Father than these uh, these these copycats, because the Ape Father, he's not portraying himself or painting himself to be some sort of guru, or knows something about the market. He just talks. And most people don't even give him credit when he talks about the market. They just view him to see if he's going into a new rant with Lou or with somebody or shilling on someone or going off on something or eating a cheeseburger or something like that. So I have respect for the guy because he sticks with his lane and he's not leading people astray to some stupid shit. Like he's done some dumb shit in the back and the community casted him away for it and rightfully so when he was saying stuff about buying an island in the name of uh, apes or whatever you call it, apes. But again, the guy speaks for himself. Like, this is just stupid talk. But some of these portrayed, self-proclaimed, ah, I've been around. God knows what they've been doing. They just popped up out of nowhere with a week, a week and a half ago. Suddenly in the thousands of viewers. And then when they say things, they don't even understand what they're saying. So yeah, go look at those and you'll see. Actually, why would you even want to go look at those, Stanley? Or Peter, um, at the end of the day, you, you, you're not trying to get straight down the wrong path, are you? Yeah, I figured. Let's see, what else? Stanley Haywood, why you didn't do it on YouTube if you are for the people? Do what on YouTube? Do what on YouTube? Am I on YouTube right now or what? Stanley, where are you coming from, my friend? Are you coming from one of those, that, that, that copycat page? <laughs> In fact, I know you are. I know you are. Get, 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 get go back to your groupie and, and, and tell him to, 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 try, to try to reach out to me. Tell him to try to reach out to me or even try to fucking debate me. Anything. In fact, no, I'm not even waste time on him. Like, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. I could pull him apart in so many pieces. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Fewer for the people I do. Like, I'm doing it on YouTube right now. In fact, go get him. Tell him to come on my live right now in the comments section. I would sh shred him to pieces with info, obviously. Not no ripping off or any of that stuff. We're too grown for this. I'm too grown for this. And don't worry, I won't be drunk while I'm doing it. <laughs> Invest for tomorrow, urgent, pisses me off. <laughs> Is that another person, uh, Brenda? I don't know. I think PsyOps is getting to many people on all ends. Uh, no, Peter. Peter, you're mistaken on that, my friend. Much love to you. You've been here for a long time. Um, no one likes their work being ripped off and stolen by copycats who don't even, who don't, one, give credit, two, who don't even uh, explain it correctly as well. I'll probably see you there, brother. <laughs> The play is dragging and a failing economy is pressuring investors, not this one, uh, just as much as the hedge funds, not this one, brother. Uh, that's why I disconnect from time to time. Have to enjoy life outside of AMC and YouTube. Yeah, uh, so true, Peter is dragging on, they are, they crash the market. Yeah, no, no, my friend, Peter, you know, I love all of the, my family especially the, the, the OGs in here, uh, there's no, none of that stuff. There's no pressure here. I just, in fact, if you listen to obviously this whole thing, maybe I'm just now getting to your comment. Um, I explained why you or anyone or me, why I don't have any pressure on me and why life is beautiful in this play. My talk, my beef, well, there's no beef, but my beef is with these copycats. That's it copycats who don't even give the information out correctly that's not dragging anything on or any of that stuff it has nothing to do with the play 
been doing this shit for years. <laughs> There's nothing getting to me. But when you rip something from me or somebody I know, or somebody I care for, yeah, it becomes an issue for me, guys. I, I, I don't like that kind of stuff. Pantheon, what's up, brother? Nice to see you in here. Let's see what else do we have comments. I can't wait to get to the bottom. Maybe there, more, 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 more people came from there. I wanted to do this. I want this to come here. That's why I knew. In fact, from yesterday, I knew it was going to come here. That's why I'm doing this live from here, from the Great Smoky Mountains. Tell them to have some balls and come straight to my stream themselves. You got it, Stanley. Or maybe some of the other people that goes there too. Whoever, by the way, also public announcement to everybody. If if the play is putting pressure on you, you could also you don't need to you need to, you don't need to have this. You don't. Need, you should already know with all this stuff. You already know when everything that I say and I have been explaining shows you and tells you why this play is the real deal. It's not a day to day. Kind of play tomorrow is not gonna be a good play today oh okay now we have better standings that's not the way it goes about it and again i've been in this shit for since september of 2020. once again if any of you want actual dd you want to actually understand the market you don't want to just uh, just just normal entertainment or whatever. This is where you come. You come over here. You're gonna you get used to this. If you want somebody to make you laugh and just joke and make a joke out of everything, then I don't understand. Like, why is it labeled as a an investing channel? Then maybe just make it a comedy club. If you want to just shoot, kill some time and just you know, <laughs> just kill time, then change the channel name from an investing channel because people I'm assuming people come here when I go to Pantheon I'm for example to watch Pantheon I go I know what I'm watching I know what I'm going for I don't watch Al why I don't watch Al because I already know what he does and I already know what it's going to be about Lou okay cool whenever I'm and I'm speaking dead right I've never bullshitted or unfiltered things Lou when I want to go if I watch Lou it's specifically to just get a laugh it is not about no stock tips or any of that stuff. And the last time I went for a laugh was like back then. Because you have to, when you know things on the market and you watch somebody who's talking about it and you see the flaws and the mistakes, you're like, oh my God. Sometimes all you could do is laugh. Jeff Nickel, don't feed the bears. <laughs> No, but I, I mean, I, I probably won't get obviously too close, but black bear, as long as there's no cups, uh, I'll get in. Veronica, uh, that's why I don't watch the line. I don't uh, in tune to the clickbaits YouTubers. I have YouTubers, my YouTubers, I listen to. Uh, it's only three I have a life. Um, well, I am very honored, Veronica, that I'm on that list. So. Uh, I, I mean, again, this is because I know that people like you, or I thought at least everyone was thinking like you, Veronica, where they're, you know, approaching a, a stock channel for stock tips or understanding something about the market. I didn't know that they were re uh, step, stepping into a, a channel just to see either to get a kick or a laugh or to kill time or whatever the case may be. I just thought it was that one purpose. And I'm all for it. Like, again, I just gave mention, great mentions to great channels. Obviously, we know everything in life is good, not good for you. And not, everything in life is not bad for you. It's up to you to pick and choose those things. And as far as I've seen, when you look for, if you're looking for t stock understanding uh, of the basics of the market, anything about the market and all the stuff, there are some people that are doing some fantastic work that honestly, if I was a, a short I would be worried about those channels. Like I said, Pantheon, 
Boss Blunts. Who else? Um, I, like you, Veronica, I don't have much time. Super Steven. Uh, whenever I have some more time. Not saying that like the rest are bad. Like sometimes even Tony DeNaro. Like it, it's it's when I look, I need to see something that's related to this because the stocks. That's what it's about. That's what I'm here for. Otherwise, I'll go to the funny bone and watch something that makes me laugh even more. Dips Patel, thank you, brother. Tim Tuna, you got it, brother. Thanks. The ape ain't my father, DS. <laughs> nice to see you in here, DS. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> From Jerusalem. Hello, AB. Uh, I hope everything is okay with your trip. Oh, it's wonderful, man. <laughs> uh, like the birds in the background. Yeah. Me too, man. Nature is awesome in, 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 in this state, man. And the United States, man. We're, we're, we're very freaking fortunate. I swear, by, from God. Like, the... Our country literally has it all. I'm not saying, obviously, the rest of the globe is not. Like, you know, look at Venezuela. It's amazing. Canada, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, but, you know, this is just because I'm reacting to our own back own backyard, like as Americans. Like, you literally can go to any state here and it's something different. You want to see snow, <laughs> you know where to go. You want to see, see beaches, you know where to go. You want to see just greenery and forests and freaking mountains with smoke above them, <laughs> clouds. You know where to go. We got it all over here. You want to go and get shit faced and uh, <laughs> and party like like a rock star? Hey, the Vegas. You know where you know where to go. Again, we got it all, man. We're blessed in this country. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it here. Later, Prometheus. Good luck and. Uh, good, uh, good on you, brother, for helping uh, the ne the elderly neighbor. <laughs> yeah, you're getting to the comments late, bro. <laughs> I know you're not fresh. I'm speaking on average, uh, everyday investors. LOL. Uh, as for the DD being stolen, I'd say, get the copyright strike on the thieves. Thanks, Peter. No, okay. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Makes sense. I did get to probably the comment like really late on that. Uh, but okay, I'm glad that you see, obviously, that there's no pressure uh, on that. Otherwise, you would probably guys find me in the basement hiding in my house, all down and everything. I don't know Pigeon Forge. But I, l I love it, Peter. I will consider that copyright thing. No, but first, I, I, again, for me, it's all about having the people to see them for who they are. And they sent their people. Stanley is not from here, Peter. All the subscribers in here, the family, you guys are been here for me with me down here every live or every time we're doing something or going live. You guys have never seen that name, right? I know where they're coming from. Because when my name came up yesterday in some turds uh, live chat, the chat had to end quickly. Boom. It was completely acknowledged. Like some, like Panulo. You were in here, in there. You asked, like, AB is great, too. And guess what? <laughs> it not even, like, completely overlooked your comment. You and Whimsy Chick and everybody else. Why? It's a guilt trip. Because they saw who they're, the, the, who they're, who, who they're ripping off uh, from in their own thing. And a few minutes after that, literally right after that, oops, stream is over. Got to watch out. You got to, you got to, we got to say it. Okay, so guys, I'm going to tell you this. I was, I was like a gangster in there, I swear. I walked in, and when people are saying my name, because I saw also Pantheon in there, um, and then I was like, you guys don't need to say my name. He know it really well. I, I was a fucking gangster. You ever watch Paid in Full, <laughs> the movie? <laughs> I was like, I was like, you guys don't need to tell him my name. He knows it very well. He knows what, I, and then after that, literally, like not even 30, 40 seconds later, the oops <laughs> ended live stream. <laughs> uh, by the way, Pantheon, thank you for uh, 
that the clarification on uh, the AMC debt and what's the amount of AMC's debt and uh, <laughs> oh man and how long will it take for us to pay it off <laughs> Come on, man. Have the balls to come in here yourself. You know who you are. I'm going to keep playing with you for now. Peter. I see it. <laughs> yeah, they did. Okay, yeah, I see where you come in front with your comment, uh, Peter. Pantheon, maybe. Can you speak for me anytime? I don't need to, man. You, you, I need to learn from you how to speak to people, apparently, because I just went off the rails. But again, it's not because I want to bring anybody down. You guys know me. In, in, like all of the people in here, you guys know me by, as a person, my entity. I've been around with you for months, since the beginning of this year. So we can say at least seven, six, seven months, right? And ever since then, I have never, been, I've always been consistent. I'm still consistent. I'm still me. But there is a difference between being like polite, as, as I always try my best to be at, polite, care for people, help out people. Uh, no, like I always even, I always even say like no question is a small question or not a big enough question. Like I'm always empowering others. I'm even like in my own platform, like I am empower others as well i give the shout outs to others and i like to surround myself with people like that this is why pantheon you see him in here i'm clamped on this guy as a friend you know as my friend oh more now guys i know yeah you 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 guys are gonna start cracking at me prometheus and everybody else well he's not in here not now cracking on me with this but because he thinks alike and they have they have values it, 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 to me, again, how does it make sense like to, to copy somebody else's stuff and not even understand it? What's your agenda? At that point, I'm worried for the community. Like, what is this person's agenda? If they're not even understanding it and they're even saying it wrong, everything. What are you gaining from there? Potential collapse for your sake because they're not going to be anywhere in there saying, oh, I'm sorry, this is what happened and they're not going to be... A, for anything so uh, again it's 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 <laughs> it's i'm not being inconsistent i'm being the same in fact this is the ab you knew all along i'm filtered in the same i'm on my principle if i see something wrong i will freaking talk about it and i will bring it up and i will say it lou i talked about him before and i didn't say like whatever as in like, you know, trying to just bring the individual down. I just called out the things that are inconsistent. Al, go back and you can see the videos. Called out the inconsistencies as far as the things that are they're putting out on people. The kind of information they take from others. Pantheon, you can speak, man. <laughs> if you were if we were if I had my setup and I had the incubator on and everything, I would have made sure you were on. Oh my god, you would have spoken. But it's it's kill time for me as I'm enjoying the beautiful views before I go to dinner. I have dinner plans with the family. And it's like I'm going to spend it with the other family right now. All this other time. And I dropped into you guys a lot of information and things as I see them happen. Even news. Interesting news. And broke down to you exactly what this whole Morgan Stanley thing was. And told you about, as always, we always talking about AMC, AMC, AMC. But I, you seen the life from... What was it? The last live or the two lives ago? With that interview with Mr. Duncan Wood. Uh, that interview, if you've seen it, oh my God, you have no idea what kind of, like, it, it would have gave you so much information. That person, that that doctor, actually, he's not a doctor, but he has a PhD, so you can, you can, ask, you can refer to him as a doctor. He was dropping so much values and information future information to you guys telling you why it's so important for lithium to be brought around and for us to to have the infrastructure for that he even said what is it going to be like in the next 10 years when all vehicles in production need to be 50 percent of them need to be uh, electric by 2030 in eight years are you kidding me 
What does that mean? We're going to have to start digging a lot of uranium, lithium, all that stuff. What does that mean? That means that stuff skyrockets. <laughs> watch it. If you haven't watched it, guys, go watch that uh, that live. And it's the the, uh, the the interview. First, I broke down a, bu a bunch of other stuff. And then toward the end of the live, we had the last like 30 minutes or like last 40 minutes of the live. That's where the interview was on with, um, um, you know, Duncan Wood. Very, very intelligent in individual. And he has all the accolades, obviously, uh, to back it up. Thank you from Jerusalem. Life is good. Well, I don't know who you're talking about, but uh, I was following Hal from Boston until I figured out he must can't read charts. That's the uh, blind uh, leading, the blind. <laughs> he can't help me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were able to uh, figure that out. And uh, I'm honored that you're here now. So hopefully I can, I can keep up. You see, I hold myself to a higher standard. And that's my thing. I have to be in the page, my links to my business. I do my own trades. The early investors seen a picture, a snap, a screenshot of what I even done uh, in June of 2021. It, it's, 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 I just, again, I just don't want people to be led astray, especially when it's something that has something to do with some of my content is just spun wrongly or explained wrongly. Or even when I see content from, uh, other creators and again since I don't view everybody I just whoever I stumble on is whoever I stumble on because the only uh, stable uh, ha like whole uh, like household names that I have Pantheon Boss Blunts just another ape Super Steven whenever I get the chance I definitely will look at Tony DiNaro I'll look at Massalorian you know it's 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 they're they're cool guys they're good guys but it's, and and some are extreme, quite intelligent I even even like whenever i obviously even have more time even kc show in fact i'm in his discord i'm not as active obviously because again as you can see i have my discord to take care of i have this to take care of you guys and i have my own businesses to take care of as well besides trading and i'm up all the pre-market for trading then as well that's why the only way I sleep is in two-hour intervals. <laughs> Snaps, two-hour naps and scattered all throughout the day and night. Okay, what else? Casey Shaw, but he only covers AMC. Is he? That's another good name, man. I, I personally have never, like, act like acted with Casey Shaw, like interacted with him and spoken with him. I've seen some of his videos and the guy is intelligent. I could tell you that. And if I if, if I had a different scenario, trust me, I would be vocal about it to you as well. I would not be, oh, okay, well, let me not be harmful to this person just because I don't want to hurt his feelings. No, when it involves people's futures and what people are uh, and no one can argue correct. No one can argue right. If you know what's obviously that this is what's right, you can't argue with it. All you could do is uh, agree with it or uh, offer support to it. But wrong? No, I'm not going down that path. Oh shit, look, this is a huge uh, mockingbird. Damn, that was beautiful. I thought they were only, I thought they were only in Ohio. Tennessee, ripping off our slogan. <laughs> Stockwiz, what's up, brother? How are you? Where I'm at? I'm in the Great Smoky Mountains. I'm in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I might get shit faced tonight. Nothing like Tennessee whiskey, baby. Any Tennesseans? Any Tennesseans in the house? You're the only tens I see. That's the worst pickup line of all of all time because it's like everybody knows that pickup line. It's not even it's, it's corny now. It's not even cheesy anymore. Like, uh, are you from Tennessee? Because you are the only ten I see. It's like, oh my god, I can't tell you how many times I even even uh, heard dudes in clubs back in the days say it. 
to females at the bar <laughs> and get a weird look and walk away. And it's like, dude, that's an oversold, uh, <laughs> an oversold line, pickup line. <laughs> the only issue is you can't stay legit if you don't have proper pay, uh, paperwork or a green card. Huh? Why? What's what's that from? Is it is it somebody else? Stockwiz? I don't know what that is about. Who who doesn't have a green card or proper paperwork? Anybody in here is a a, a fellow uh, like what visitor in the U.S. or something? Or was that for me, Stockwiz? I mean, don't let the uh, my heritage <laughs> fool you. But I'm an American citizen. <laughs> uh. Veronica Chase, my YouTubers, AB, Boss Blunts, AMC Bigums, and Pantheon. Keeping it real with the people, lots of people have a lot of money in AMC and GME. Veronica Chase, again, I am honored to hear something like that. And again, you, you know, you're like a sister to me. Uh, so I, I appreciate the love. And like I said, again, I hope that I could always, I mean, there is no way that I would always, any, ever deteriorate from what you know me as. Because this is just my DNA. This is just what I am. I never had this other, like with these other like individuals that I was speaking about earlier or anything. Like I don't didn't I, ne I don't have that in my DNA. I never had that in my system. You know, to feel the need to look at somebody else's stuff to harness my own. I mean, this is uh, this is you must hate yourself. You li really like invest in yourself. Whoever you are out there. You don't need to copy someone to live your life. You're not living when you're copying somebody. You're 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 just trying to live somebody else's life and you're doing a terrible job at it too. Live your life, man. Or ma'am, whoever you are out there. So, anyways, much love to you, Veronica. Thank you. Chris, what's up, Chrismo? <laughs> Brenda <laughs> Jeff Dickel CSI I told him live AB investments no comment no uh, <clears throat> it, it, it's it's deeper than that with CSI it's uh, again it's it's there's no there's no love lost with me and CSI I mean we've interacted in fact, he was the first YouTuber I have ever interacted with via Twitter, like messages. Um, and and that was that was it. But it wasn't like something deep. Um, I don't honestly have the time to go there. I've been back in like months ago, attended some of the streams just to see what uh, what he's about, like what he talks about and everything. Uh, I just you know I just think we he he's he has a take. And one thing about him I've noticed that he's passionate. So at least he has, like he puts that. So I'm not talking obviously bad about CSI in this case. Uh, I don't think he's uh, copying somebody. He just puts his own input on it. And again, I welcome all that kind of stuff. Uh, the, whether you're right or you're wrong, just put out your stuff, put out your version, put out your thing. And if you put somebody else, please put give, give him uh, credit. And I don't think that uh, I, I haven't personally seen the moment where he took somebody or CSI in particular, as you asked, uh, took somebody else's stuff and, uh, you know, didn't even give him the credit or the shout out to it. Uh, yeah, that's.
<laughs> yeah, it's again, and, and again, like I said, CSI is an is emotional person from what I've seen from some of, some of the lives that I've seen. But I, I don't have any ma like ill will against the guy. Like I, like I said, again, as long as one, you don't take people's shit and you don't give them credit for it. And as long as, and I didn't see him do that, or at least to the best of my knowledge, <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows what else is out there? Who else is out there doing stuff and I don't even know about? Um, or I have not seen him like, you know, try, like, you know, just take work from others and just react on it. Like, you know, he, he, there might be something that where all YouTubers anyways have this in common where if there's a big topic, so everybody has to have some sort of action or reaction on it. Uh, but most of the times their personal work is their personal work, what they work on. If you see Pantheon, go ahead. I dare you. You're not going to see any of his content. You go in there. And I don't speak for the guy. You speak for yourself. Uh, you guys could go ahead and look at his videos, all of it. It's always tackling something. Yes, it could be somewhere along the lines of uh, something that somebody else covered, but he's not going to go in there and just like sit in front of a screen and just like guys this guys that guys this guys that but not one not give the credit two and not understand what he's talking about he will break it down to you trust me any episode you go to you're going to learn something new with pantheon that's and you could take that to the bank thank you javi yeah he does he does pantheon and me <laughs> Manjit, who are we talking about? <laughs> Javi, you were there. You know it. <laughs> oh my God, it's hilarious! It's hilarious. It was a, it was a shit show yesterday. It was hilarious. I, all, that's all I can say. For those of you who know, you know inside. Now again, it, I don't want. It's not like okay. Does it matter to you guys? Like the rest of the people who don't know this individual, does it matter? I mean, do you really want to go? And, and listen to FUD or stupidity or after everything that you're hearing. It, it, so it's not going to be beneficial to you anyway. So it's like kind of like a, a shit under the bridge. <laughs> but this is it's getting to them because that's why they send their little uh, groupies in here to try to ask this question as in like, oh, who and are you? Bring them out. And, and like that Stanley guy who have never been in here before. And somebody else, I also got my eyes on them. They asked me a, 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 a slick question, like a normal question, but I know their agenda. So I'm just waiting on them to step out of their character. I'm waiting for you. I didn't get to where I got, guys, and, and what I do in life and what I've made for myself to, uh, to, to by, by, being, by being, you know, oh, like, uh, just go with the flow. Peter Jefferson, stay polite is what separates you literally from everyone. Appreciate the advice, brother. Yeah, I, I, again, you're right. I am I, I, one. I am. I'm still po obviously polite. I am not calling people out like names. I'm not cussing the, uh, people out. I'm not changing my values, but I am calling people out for wrong, and that's not that doesn't make you know not polite. But it's 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 a good, very good advice because it's a very fine line where, between rudeness and politeness where like you can you're correct Peter I could literally like you know go a little overboard with it by being emotional and start degrading people and stuff like that and that's obviously never my uh, character or my uh, nor that I condone any of that kind of stuff but I definitely have to put that definitely the nails on the portrait so I'm I'm making I'm making it clear you I know you're listening and your goonies that you're sending here I know they're listening I'm just nailing in the the portrait portrait into the wall you decide if you want to be the picture on the frame thanks peter goonie ab who's copied you sorry cuz i only chose who i watched so i'm out of the loop you good brother don't worry about uh don't worry about it Luna, nice, nice to see you in here as well. 
<laughs> My only Kraken on you is, wait for it, Lord of the Fries. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Uh oh, guy got a Glock. <laughs> You're the Glock, you you can't have your Glock on you right now. <laughs> Not in this stream. <laughs> it's gonna be shots fired. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a great evening, brother. Much love to you straight from the Smoky Mountains. Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> What's up, Steven? Love these lives? Well, these lives love you too, brother. Yeah. Jason Bimo. You just posted your comment. You're one of the, uh, the, the the fortunate people that I was able to get to their comments <laughs> right on time. Unfortunately, um, because you know I'm covering the sh the show and the talk, and then at the same time, uh, you know, reacting to the comments. But yes, it, it just happened at the moment where I'm right there, brother. Uh, thank you. I mean, I'm having a great time. Hopefully, you're having a good uh, day and uh, or evening by now. Honestly, um, let's see. Is there any uh, yeah, it's always a pleasure to see you too, brother. Nice to see you in here. Is there any questions that people have? I will give a little good time now. If there's any questions, people can drop them in the uh, chat. Any questions? <laughs> uh oh, that Petty AB is creeping back. <laughs> Let him out. <laughs> 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 oh no brenda I, I pantheon it doesn't he's not even he doesn't even have that in his dna as well he would never ignore somebody uh, he probably didn't see it ah look i just seen like as i was saying that he put he posted that comment at the same time give him the question again uh, Brenda, if you don't mind, I'm pretty sure he will act, access it for you. Oh, it looks like my dinner time is, is about to uh, get to. What, what what time is it? Ooh, 5.45. Yeah, I got to definitely go. How do I get to your uh, Discord? Uh, Pabloco just put in the uh, link, or uh, two links in the Discord. So, uh, so yeah, go ahead. You, want, you guys want to put in the grill? Okay. I don't know what for the day. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know who else is still in here as far as from mods. I don't know if Pabloco is still in here. Um, but if, if you're in here, you can probably put the link again. Jason, try to scroll up in the chat. See if you see any blue links. You know, if you see any highlighted links, that's, that's, that's the link that you go. Just another ape. I speak English and Arabic, and I can get by with Spanish. Get by. When I say get by, as in like I can just ask, you know, a couple of, uh, hey, how do I get water? Where do I go to get the restroom and stuff like that? Oh, you, so you saw it, Jason? If you saw it, that's great, brother. Yeah, anytime I'm not live, uh, you know, I'm always reporting news over there, and then if it's very very good news or news that needs to be explained like similar to the morgan stanley situation with the spac um then i will cover it the very following day but if you want to know the news from now to uh till tomorrow then in discord you will if i if I report anything is going to be there and sometimes like i said we hold some calls that we would all talk all the members and talk about stuff that happen away from the market hours from Jerusalem. Sahawana <laughs> Itanna. 
<laughs> to you too, brother. Uh, I'm going to say something in Arabic to Jerusalem because I saw him over there too yesterday. يا حبيبي اللي هذا اللي كنت عنده امبارح هذاك يا حبيبي يعني كل شيء بيعمله بس باخذه من عندي قاعد كل اللي بيحاول يحكي ومش فاهم شو بيحكي كمان هاي المشكله انا مش فاهم شو قاعد بيحكي <تصفيق> وبغش وفوق كل هذا قاعد بيسكر ومش عارف ايش قاعد بيحكي كمان وكله قاعد بيجي ياخذه من عندي <تصفيق> back again English AB is back again <تصفيق> Um, oh, the coiler. Stacia, how are you doing, my friend? He's like, bye, baby. <laughs> um, Stacia, I'm down is, um, in the uh, Great Smoky Mountains. I don't know if he's down or up at this point. You would refer to them as. Say AMC to the moon in Arabic. <laughs> AMC Lil Gamar. There you go, Stephen. Moon is in Arabic is Qamar. Qamar. M R. So say the, the letter Q. It ha, it's weird because that letter doesn't ex exist in the English language, um, in the alphabet. So that pronunciation has to come from somewhere weird. Like that's why when you hear it, sometimes they say kh, it's not that they you know that's the way that they talk. It's just a letter, kh. That's a letter in the Arabic alphabet. So many from different pronunciations. Watch, this is going to turn into a language uh, channel now. <laughs> Everybody say ah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, q, m r, qamar. He has, huh? What do I do? <laughs> hey, Adrian. What's up, bro? Que <laughs> paso, amigo? Thank you. But now it's like Kamar with the Q. It's very close. Yeah, it's the closest letter. Yeah, you're, you're correct. <laughs> K is K H K Aki Ukti <laughs> All right So anything is happening in the market as of right now or just a little bit ago anybody that's in here do you guys have any questions that's on your mind do you like hey what does this mean this happened like something like this happened what is that for example, as I told you, like, hey, why is Go EV up? Well, uh, that one is kind of a, uh, uh, it's 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 kind of like an easy one uh, only because do you, you could see that they already have their catalyst. Their catalyst is that Walmart bought all their electric vehicles from them, which is a big sad thing. And here's why this is a big sad thing. For the longest period of time, for about two years, there has been so much speculation that Walmarts were going to do this, what they did, what they announced today with Go EV, with, uh, aka Kano, the name of the company, they were supposed to be doing that with the, uh, uh, with Workhorse. But unfortunately, that's not the case. <laughs> you know how some somebody put their drone and took it above uh, Workhorse, like, wall or something? Like, this was like a year and a half ago. And when they were doing that, or when they did that, they saw a, a truck that was all painted in blue. So they know what, obviously, if you don't know what Workhorse does, guys, I, it, it, they're, they're specialized in you know, creating electric power vehicles as well. But mostly commercial vehicles like that, the truck that we're talking about, the delivery trucks. So they had a deal, I remember, with, um, who was it first that they went off, um, that went back on that deal? It was was it it's not FedEx it's not US mail it's one of the big uh, US UPS with UPS correct sorry so yes now I remember because again it was like a year and a half ago and that went away 
that deal went away. What, what they did is there was a lot of speculation that they would be going to uh, they would be going to work horse because they seen that truck was in blue. So somebody put it on uh, you know the the internet, YouTube and slash <laughs> Reddit, like oh yeah, workhorse they're work Walmart. Well today Walmart shut that theory down <laughs> and they went with Cano. <laughs> Let's see. It went up. It was very volatile. Yeah, Go EV went uh, over 100% at some point. It was like 120, 130% at some point, and then it dropped down as I was making this video. So I don't know what it ended up at after all. Afterwards. By the way, how about H Gen? You guys remember last weekend? You guys remember, right? I'm a T telling you guys about that. H Gen um, has since the time I reported it to you guys, which was a day before the move started happening on on their stock. Now it's up over ninety percent from that point of time. Let your imaginations take you down the aisle of what if. <laughs> Okay, so Stephen is saying Sanadik boxes Al Tahwat Tamars. I see boxes of dates. <laughs> but the other Are you using uh, Google Translate or something? <laughs> Yes, thank you, brother. See you later, brother. <laughs> My wife is currently in Kuwait. She's trying to teach me Arabic, but it's too difficult to learn for me. Uh, took forever to learn uh, Tagalog on a fourth grade level. Um, it's it's well okay. So Arabic is very tough to learn simply because of the. The, the fact that there's l many different letters that just don't exist in this alphabet. So like the pronunciation is going to be tough because you have to, you know, bring it from all sorts of places in your chords. Uh, but um, more importantly, Arabic is very hard to learn how to write as well, because as you know, uh, in English, we write from, uh, you know, from left to right, where in Arabic, we write from right to left. That is going to make you like, what? It's kind of like a drive goes from here and goes to Europe one next day if you go to Europe and you jump into a car and the steering wheel is in the right side you're gonna be like what is this like this is where the pa I'm usually in the passenger seat here so same kind of same thing but you get used to it if you listen languages I know one thing about it well I'm glad by now I know one thing about them languages the way that is structured is if you the way I uh, um, so yeah, it, it's it's if you're gonna learn language, it's gonna be very hard to learn it uh, when you're not really using it on a daily base, you know, like, and you have no need to use it. But if I was, for example, to move down to Mexico tomorrow, yeah, you better bet that within six months I'm gonna have to. Uh, I will be. I will know Hispanic completely. Now I won't be obviously better than the native tongue, but I would definitely get myself around and I'll understand what's happening when I'm watching the news in a in the Spanish language you have to learn I'm I, at that point you have to learn you must there's no other choice la, 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 la. let's see yeah Kim yeah, it was too bad they didn't get that contract. Honestly, I was I, I was I was waiting on them to get some some of that contract, but it kind of faded away with time, because again, the community in each stock, like that's what made these meme stocks okay, like very very one, very dangerous because it's not just AMC or even just GME. But the problem is many of these other meme stocks, their fan base or their holders holdlers, 
they lost conviction in those play and in a way that was kind of good for amc people and gme because it kind of consolidated more people within but many of these smaller uh movements or communities got de decimated like you know many people lost their conviction and started leaving and eventually uh it paved the way for obviously you know you know who to jump in and uh deal the, the death blow so i'm not saying that workhorse is done for good but it's it's it just got a whole lot more to worry about now um a, the only hope that workhorse have now because all this that the, like okay all the pros are its cons now literally the only pro that workhorse has is the synthetics the ludicrous amount of synthetics that they have on the company so it's only a short squeeze potential but as far as me personal personally seeing it as a long-term uh deal or something that's uh, i'm willing to put that you know like an investment in it doesn't matter what the amount is uh, i don't see any good things with workhorse it, it's in an industry filled with competition and they're not even close in a market condition like this to even making it and all their competition they're not even in the apex of their uh they, they're not even the apex of that uh, you know of this of that the industry we all know that tesla is so it's 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 a short squeeze play only and only if obviously people are holding and <laughs> have the conviction and most people lost that conviction uh cpi thoughts bubby stamper 10.2 foot or leak cpi data was when last time i checked there was they had they were estimating it to be 0.5 percent and it came in as i covered it earlier today in the live it came in uh, they, uh, they came in at 1.1 so to me it's obviously fucking fun <laughs> because we know i know that the market is, is is in shit so when they see this and they announce something like this it, it, just watch it change fr from month to month every the reports are gonna fluctuate last month it was terrible watch this now it came out oh yeah it looks like it's gonna be better the markets are gonna have a soft landing if you for me again everybody is free to think their selves but for me i'm saying heck no there's no soft landing this you could tie that up to the morgan stanley situation that happened yesterday or earlier this morning like in uh at three four o'clock in the morning this this morning when they broke that SPAC deal and agreement out and liquidated and returned the investment or the, the money to the investors, they only, as I said earlier, they only do this. Just feel free to go back and watch earlier because I break it down really well. And then, or at least I feel, and then you would also see something that's very important. You get to pick up something that comes only with experience in the market. When you watch that segment, You'll see what I'm talking about. What this signals to when they do stuff like this, what is that signaling? I'll give you a small summary here, like one sentence or maybe two sentences, but you should watch the rest of that or the earlier part. But the summary here is that whenever this happens like this, you can see the back, like you could go back to see the breakdown of what happened, but this equals to institutional investors or the people involved in those investments to come up with that money for the SPAC so they can go invest that money in a private company to take it public. That's what a SPAC is. <clears throat> and when they do that, that means they're anticipating a market, complete market shut, like recession, and actually not just a recession, but a further more down crash. A lot of people are saying, crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. But is there paper to show that? Many. There has been some YouTubers I've seen that showed papers that could relate to this. But this one is, a for me, as a, an investor that has been in the market for years, this is the ultimate message. In agreement, and the investors don't come to an agreement, and they don't, it doesn't go through, that means they're citing that they're afraid to go on and take a private company public in a market condition like this. That means it's going to go under, meaning they will take losses. The only reason why that idea of the SPACs and how they go about it, they do it anyways and why they love it is because in normal markets, they always come on the ground price. They're always on the bottom. So when the company ultimately IPOs, 
that's when they can sell for profits 100%. So it's easy money for them. But when they don't go through with the investment, that's signaling. Like they know these guys up there, they hear stuff before we hear them. Obviously, insider trading, but nobody can put their finger on it. Senators and the Congress members and the chairman of the Federal Reserve. They, 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 they all like there was paper trail showing that they were trading in the restriction times and the blackout phase and it was illegal. Guess what? They still did it. So that's what it is. That just shows my friend. Um, who was it that asked this question? Oh, Bubby. Uh, that shows more when when you when you when these people do that. That means they're anticipating a lower, a lower, still a much lower uh, market evaluation, a bigger drop, and they don't want their money to be in harm's way, because no matter how good of a private company they're going to go invest in and take public, odds are they're going to lose money. So they want to protect it. Okay. Uh, Brenda, I have looked five times and there is no question. Calm down. Take breath and repeat your question. Did you? I, I thought. I thought, Brenda. I thought you've already re-asked the question. Why are you? Then view. Then view. بعرف شفتها. فبدي أشوف هسه بعد شوي. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm trying to power the grill. <laughs> I need to see the new kind of grill. Say my name, say it, say it. Say my name, say my name. <laughs> is that what you is that what made that name or what influenced this name for you, brother? Or sister, whoever you are over there. I saw another YouTuber say if a movie company gets in with AMC a takeover. Uh, and buy AMC for X amount of dollars, then squeezes over. I don't get it. Uh, I, I don't know who that is and why would they even say that. Um, they would, they would, uh, if, if the best person to watch for this, uh, say my name is uh, just another ape, just another ape, Super Steven, who's, who was in here. I, I don't know if he's still in here, but he was in here. And what Super Steven was doing was uh, he, he laid out like a, a possibility where we could do a kind of a, a not so much of a merge, but more of a business with Paramount Plus. And he makes the best bullish case I've seen or heard yet as far as, uh, you know, what that announcement that Adam Aaron is talking about or what the pounce is going to be. It makes the best ideal ideology for pounds but as far as amc um there's no such thing as like if even even okay let's just entertain the question for hypothetical reasons even if, if amc uh is up for sale that doesn't mean anything in fact that's even good for us that doesn't mean it's bad you know if, if it's if it's purchased that's bullish news who's who wants to buy something that is losing right it's not that shows you that it's not a losing business in fact, I personally feel that somewhere along the lines of this next report, uh, we might hear Adam Aaron talk about profitable business. Like, if, if not next quarter, if not this next report, next quarter. I, I, I almost, I'm almost like, I'm almost certain of it. The numbers are showing it. If you look at the earnings, you'll see it. The kind of gradual rise. I mean, come on, Thor, Love and Thunder, did what 15 percent more than what it did in 2019 same time in 2019 pre-pandemic levels this business is telling you that it's getting stronger than even pre-pandemic levels what kind of short you have to be to short this <laughs> you have to be a real real short person <laughs> hopefully it answers it say my name I don't know, like, if, 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 but again, if, if we are to, to entertain that question, um, 
and hypothetically say that it is going to happen or true, then yeah, um, it's it's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't get where's the part that says the squeeze is over, like or that person. I don't, and I don't want to, you know, I don't know who's this YouTuber. You 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 know this YouTuber, I, I believe. Um, at least tell me what their idea of why they think that the squeeze will be over if AMC was to ever get purchased. I always entertain all ideas. doesn't matter how far or how close. But ultimately, whatever you start with, has you have to finish, right? So we ultimately, I will entertain the idea, but then we have to come to a conclusion. Is it possible or is it not? And I need to know what that individual is talking about or that random YouTuber is talking about. So in case they do get purchased, what does they what do they see or what is their reasoning for why would the squeeze be over uh and that with that i then i could react and i, I'm, I am i will <laughs> thanks brother javi class act thank you appreciate it hit the likes thanks people i remember me kevin was all in on workhorse last year for a good little minute it, i was in it too adrian that was a very, very very good profit man like this thing took off it was in the 40s i had stocks i've had options in it i whew. it was it was amazing it was amazing but again i didn't never looked at it as a long long like something i could hold in for for the longest amount of time uh, in fact i did hold it much longer than my day trades um it was it was for a good month and a half and about a month and a half, two months. Yeah, about two months. And eventually, when it, you know, how the stocks, like it, this one was stepped on all the way. It did have some breathing windows here and there. And when I, the first window I saw, I got out of and I was able to get into uh, and recoup some of the things that I, losses that I took off of that. Because I made so much money on the options on it when it was running up and when the stock was running up when it was going up in the higher in the mid to upper 40s i think it was got i got it got up to 47 if i'm not mistaken but then uh as i tried to jump back in it after the dip after it dipped down then i was like okay okay let's see this is different they're not they're this is this is not i need to have conviction in this play i do but the problem is one since this whole Walmart thing was not like it was only a rumor and nothing was solid yet and it was taking so long for it to come no eight eight I didn't see any eight Ks or 13 uh, F filings so I was like okay you know what nah I need to consolidate myself here it's okay I take a small little cut on this I've already made over that from previous trading of the stock took that money and reconsolidated somewhere else uh, for in, in my day trading budget and that was it um, and that budget stays the same when I sell it I take the proceeds the the profits from it and then I transfer it over to my uh, brokerage the actual brokerage that I buy my longs positions on and then I buy my long on AMC and GME and further make my positions stronger in them in both and there's some I still I still am holding Tilray by the way I still am holding Sundial still I am holding Bed Bath & Beyond out of all of those, Workhorse was the only one I had to let go short. Like, not go short on it, but I let it go for, for less. The, what, the third time around? Yeah, third time I jumped in it. <laughs> Smokey in the Smokies. <laughs> Corbin Dallas. <laughs> Um, <laughs> nothing much just chilling like a villain say my name who is the king of lithium wondering if you looked into it well the resources are all over but it's going to be very simple for you to at least pinpoint at this time because right now all these minerals and precious precious metals like all this stuff is, it's still it's in infancy stages. Like it's not, it doesn't, it didn't have its its gold moment. For example, even though like some like uranium, for example, is worth way more than gold. It's twice as valuable than gold. Depending on also like the finer it gets and the more enriched it becomes. Like similar to what we have today, going on in the news with France warning about Iran, you know, 
and them trying to enrich their uranium so that they can eventually make a little boy like similar to that bomb that the u.s threw in on japan back in world war ii so um that's what iran basically is working on that's what france was you know try warning today in the news about that they're they're that iran is like delaying the 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 news and they're delaying their cooperation because they want to go ahead and make one you know and obviously the superpowers they don't want that to be the case because they view iran as a, a castaway state or a sanctioned state obviously where it's a danger to democracy and to the life of or like the lifestyle of the west so they can't have such weapon you know it's already dangerous enough that you got uh kim ong jun <laughs> uh you know being one uh, or has some himself you know you guys remember that movie that seth uh rogan had um where they went to meet him it was hilarious man it was hilarious <laughs> that was a hilarious movie Seth Rogen is one of my favorite comedians of all time. I love the guy. But yeah, say my name. You, 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 with a simple research, you will find, like, one, first research the source. Like, who has the biggest reservoirs first? The countries, as far as countries. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to see African nations in their... Uh, for sure like you might see as especially recently you might see congo um you might see nigeria you might see australia as well in it you might see for sure canada in the top 10 um but then you want to look at the companies um, i take it as you probably watched that reaction interview that i had on a few lives ago which is good um because now you're moving in the right direction you're looking at who's the boss or who's the amc of their industry because you know amc is the apex in our industry in the moving industry now you're going in the right direction like who's the boss and of, of lithium in that game who's the apex in that game since that's going to be the future that's that's i i need to i need to put an eye on this you know whether now post moas with capital but at least when i what i provided you with guys was something that is sure the future of humanity as you can see by law by the statements and what governments are doing to secure access to those uh, uh precious minerals that we need them for our everyday technological life and world that we live in so that's what this most of this war is about you know whoever has the, their hands mostly on most uh on most of these resources will obviously be have the most influence on the planet because that's what will make your power in these days that we live in that's where power is most of these weapons anyways are made from these resources uh nuclear plants that make electric uh you know electricity 25 percent of our electricity here in the u.s are made in nuclear plants there's about like 93 96 reactors uh in like 23 states in the u.s that provide that and they could be more now by now but that's what we have so imagine 25 percent of our electricity comes from nuclear reactors and it's simple they bring in the the like they use it via, via uranium because there's no fossil fuel involved so basically there's zero emissions being pumped into the atmosphere no carbon bring in uranium put it the water in the reactor steam it then uh spin it eventually making electricity breaking down the atoms inside the reactor should we do a science uh, uh, episode that would be hilarious science with AB but we cannot be talking about atoms and, and bombs and all that stuff <laughs> uh, where's the who KB Adrian it was just inside now I've been I I gotta make I gotta make one I smoked one earlier today but I'm gonna make one a little bit after I eat uh, dinner um, and uh, then I will probably come back put a hookah hop in the jacuzzi shoot a hip hop video or something you know like yo 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 buy AMC and that's where it stops the end <laughs> Who
hookah after food. Yes, that's it. That's 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 he knows what's up from Jerusalem, knows how it goes. Don't know what you got until it's gone. We missed going to the movies, you can tell. Yep, I agree with you, Corbin. The guy said if the company buys AMC for like 30 a share, that's it, $30 a share, uh, and we are done. Uh, think there would have to be a share count? Got my name from, got, oh, got my name from Sam Kinison on Saturday Night Live. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I love it. So here's the thing. I'm going to tell you this. Say my name. Uh, even if the company sells for 30 a share, I, we're going to entertain again the example here. Uh, hypothetically speaking, even if the company was to sell for 30 a share, uh, that doesn't mean the short that's on it and all the shorts that are on it goes away off the table, right? Um, if they pay every person, think of it like this, $30 a share, How many are they going to pay? Well, again, according to them, right now, the game that we're in, and this is why there will be no such thing that would happen, like of AMC being sold entirely, something else or someone else, because it's not in their best interest for this to happen because it's going to expose a lot of uh, this crap. And again, yeah, to you, to your mind, you'll be like, well, if it means them paying just $30 per share, then that would be great. No, because one... All those shirts have to be, all those shorts have to be uh, returned to the broker. And the lenders that lent these also shorts, shorts have to close their positions if the company is purchased or is in the process of being purchased. So obviously that's not in their best interest for that. Two, where they at is that they are covering and holding the whole story down from the general public that, oh no, this is the real float. Look at your Ortex. Look at the reports that are coming out. This is the real float. Where in reality, where, where we are at the other side, we're saying, no, that's nowhere even close to the real float. That was the float probably back in August of 2020. But now we're almost in August of 2022 and minus people selling. So how, what, what's up with that, you know? So it's their best interest to stick to their, uh, to stick to their guns and, and keep pushing this down the line until, which is again, like I said, I made my case for what they're doing and wh and who ultimately will bail us out or who will pay us eventually. But they're going to continue this stuff until the whole economy in general, and not just here, because you see it all globally, all around, um, until the whole economy collapses completely, stumbles and, you know, the banks are at a situation like 2008 and worse, obviously, saying, hey, we are all the center of all the corruption. Well, but they're not going to say it that way. We everything is fucked up. Are you gonna bail us out or are you gonna let us all default? Because the when when for example JP Morgan falls, it, let's say hypothetically speaking, who really falls? Is it the owners of the bank or is it the uh, company? Because at the end of the day, the owners they have all their money secured. So what they do is they just transfer their money. Their money, their wealth is good. They'll start it up somewhere else if if, if shit goes down that bad. Which in the last time something like that happened was in the case of Germany, because when they were like a superpower for a very short lived time, that was the case. When they got when they got angst, guess what? All the wealthy and the corrupt people from there, where did you think they went? You think they just got uh, forgotten about and they just lived? They came here. Look into the lenders. I don't want to start any allegations. Look into the lenders. Look at their ha uh, family name. Look at where they come from. It's it's so so these people are going to be good, the heads. So it, it, it's not that you know they don't give two shits if J.P. Morgan themselves, the owner of J.P. Morgan, uh, the the offsprings of J.P. Morgan, they don't give a fuck if J.P. Morgan or Chase defaults. It doesn't matter to them. Their personal wealth is, is taken care of. The bank is just their business, what continues to accumulate to their wealth. And unfortunately, since they're corrupt, what they do is they come in, and from that business, they do shady shit that ultimately, over time, 
breaks down the economy, which is in a professional term, is taught to the people or to the masses by every 12 years we have an economic cycle and every economic cycle ends with a recession. That's what they teach the masses and that's what they teach the flocks and the people. They don't want to, obviously, they're not going to come and say the corruption and all the other stuff that I just mentioned to you. They're just going to tell you that so that you can ingrain it within your head that, oh yeah, every 12, 15 years, there's a recession, there's a market recession. I'm going to be looking forward to that event. So you could just become an event investor, which is a good thing in a way, but in an overall scheme of things, it shows you how the corruption works from the inside out. And that's why back in 2008, they came and they bailed out the banks. When the economy stumbled, they came and bailed out the banks. They didn't bail out the citizens. They didn't come to the citizens and say, here. No, they bailed out the banks and obviously raised taxes because for the bailout, the government had to print a lot of money. And because the government had to print a lot of money, guess what else did they have to do? They had to make money that money back. How do they make it back? The common citizen, you and I, we pay it. Um, let's see. So, at AB, the chance of AMC, oh, so Stephen, of being bought out in its entirety are very slim. Oh, no, it, it, well, I'm just, I guess, now getting to your comments, Stephen. Um, see, say my name. There's another response for you right there. Um, as, as I said, he's, let me see what, what's your reasoning. AA is not interested in being acquired. AMC has the larger market share. Uh, a, a style is acquire small theaters not be acquired yes see that's another look outlook on it too so you see my outlook was different than super stevens uh, but from a different perspective you know from from the shorts perspective and the banks but as far as from super steven um, that's another solid right there uh, reason for why they like you know as, as far as it the company being bought out in its entirety um, so there you go. You have two two reasons now. So maybe you could go back to that YouTuber that said that and tell him, hey, man, <laughs> go holler at AB and uh, Super Steven you, or, or just another ape. Thirty a share is not a bounce. <laughs> it's more of an <laughs> it's not checkers move. Yeah. Oh, and I hope I hope that YouTuber also wasn't saying that that's what Adam Aaron is also going to be uh, airing out or that's the pounce. I thought that that was just one of his general theories. But if he's also saying that as well, then he's way far off his med medication. It's obvious because <laughs> technically it's obvious at uh, 100 utilization for over three months. Um, what else do we got? <laughs> he knows, but he can't say all the synthetics and the crap that is happening. He can also tra traject like the trajectory of the stock. If it's right now and it's not a profitable business at $15 when Sinmark and freaking whatever Regal, Madrigal, see, I don't even know them like that, uh, are, are trading at higher valuations. And they're not even close to being like again when i say uh, amc the apex they are the apex of their habitat they're like the t-rex <laughs> in the dinosaur age so um it's 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 it's, it's i don't see it again and he knows that the business is beginning profitable and that his competitors that don't even stand a chance are also gonna, you know, they're evaluated at, at higher, like around that $30 range. He knows that they can get much better than that. Like the least, if I was to go down this path, you know, th those situations where they say, hey, what if Michael Jordan is in these days, in this in this era, not that, in that era, he would score like 58 points a game and all that stuff. Well, this is the same kind of scenario. I'm gonna think like this. If I could see Adam Aaron ever thinking about selling the company's shares, which again, I just don't see it. But if I was to be like that and think hypothetically here and just, just think hypothetically for fun, uh, I don't see him selling any share, uh, the company 
uh, especially in these turbulent times and the business is becoming profitable, I don't see it being uh, anything like, you know, anything less than at least 150, 120, 120 dollars at least. At least. So I'm not saying that's what AMC is worth. I'm saying that to him at this point, if they were from a company standpoint, that's the only thing, which takes us back to another question, which is what is the fundamental real value after squeeze, after the shorts are all dealt with, all the synthetics are dealt with, when all that is out of the way, and now you're down to the meat and bones, the skin and bones, what is the true value of an AMC share? Uh, those are hypothetically some of my expectations, it's somewhere there, anywhere between 60 and 140 anywhere there it depends on what else they do i mean clearly they're investing you saw that partnership with highcroft they're doing more and more things like that he even said in previous uh earning reports earnings reports that hey i'm not gonna go ahead and go back to just pre-pandemic levels i'm gonna make an amc that's gonna be different than the pre-pandemic is gonna be different we're we're gonna be a different complete entity that's freaking bullish so whatever else they add on and i think definitely something is coming in that pounce uh you know uh decision or announcement we will know then but if you want to know just check out just another apes page he's got a very good uh the best case i've seen as far as what that pounce could be okay just look it up and look at him and look at what he make the case for paramount plus Mini clean nuclear energy plants are the future. Yes, Pablo, for sure. Pablo, I don't know if you've seen that reaction to that, uh, that the one that I was talking to you about, um, the the uh, Duncan Wood, and that he's a, something about you Canadians, Pantheon, and that he's one smart Canadian uh, in, in individual who's a wonderful interview, man. You guys, whoever didn't see it, you should go and check it out and see the reaction to it. It was one or two stream live streams ago. And it's like toward the last 45 minutes of the live. Okay. This is unfortunate what's happening here with uh, Brenda and Pantheon. Yeah, um, it, it, I mean, Pantheon, clear, Pantheon clearly makes his case here. It's not a big deal, uh, uh, Brenda. He, he, he's, I mean, he, he, he's still asking, like constantly asking what's, what's the question. If he didn't see it, I mean, if he saw it and decided to uh, ignore you, I'm pretty sure he would have still ignored you now. He wouldn't say, uh, pretend that he's not that guy. I'll tell you that. If you don't know Pantheon, Brenda, Pantheon is not that guy. He's not going to ignore you. And then when you call him out, he's going ig to uh, not ignore you. He's, if he's going to ignore you, he's going to ignore you at all times. And he's, he's, he's not, he's not going to be rude to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, so... Uh, this is unfortunate the way that these things work out sometimes apologies Pantheon <laughs> laughing my ass off AV hit up feel for real for a beat brother <laughs> why feel for real is a Swiss, Swiss beats <laughs> or Timberland Yeah, Warren, Pantheon is causing trouble again. <laughs> Christie's in the house. Nice to see you in here. <laughs> you thought it was a black bear? <laughs> Man, it's such an amazing view with these mountains. Guys, I wish you all were here. <laughs> uh. 
Look at all these beautiful people in here. Christy, good stuff. <laughs> Go back to the beginning. Very interesting. <laughs> you got to see Petty AB. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little shy now. <laughs> Tyler B. What's up, brother? First time I seen AB and Pantheon both lose their cool historic episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think it was more like, lo yeah, lose their cool, but uh, keep it real. Keep it real. Uh, you can never say never now. <laughs> NG, hey there, my friend. Whimsy, what's up? Thanks, say my name. You're welcome, say my name. Uh, please, if you do have more questions like this, this was a good question, by the way, because the odds are if you asked it or some creator out there covered it, it means many more people either got influenced by it or are thinking about it or asking questions about it. So it's good. It, it, all questions are good questions at the end of the day. Thanks for, for that question, brother. <laughs> yes, Goonie. Thank you. You know, thanks to the mods for sure. Wonderful people, all of them. Just another ape. We can't know the fundamental value until we see how AA responds to the decree. Uh, if he does the right thing, you're looking at high valuations. I agree with you, my friend. And like, I'm, I'm a steal. See, I'm going to give credit, guys. I'm not going to just steal the name or the saying, but I'm going to steal the saying from Pantheon. I'm giving him credit. Surround yourself by the ones who sees the same mission as you do. Now, I didn't say it exactly in all his words so that it won't be exactly copy and paste, but I still give the credit to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Go make a live about me, Pantheon, now. <laughs> uh, Tyler B., I'm sure many apes will rebuy into AMC after Moas. I know I will be. I mean, I know I will be, too, so add me to that. And, and I know I speak for Pantheon on this one. I know he will be, too, because he said it before uh, many times. Um, and s for so many reasons. Fundamental and... Uh, Fundamental reasons and uh, love reasons, you know, for what it br will change your life to. The least you could do is go back to invest sentimental value. We'll put it for fundamental value and sentimental value. Partnerships with Uber Eats, Highcroft, acquiring all these small and big theaters that uh, that are profitable. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay, say my name. 30 was just a number he threw out. He thinks uh, will go in thousands, uh, if not taken over. He believes in GameStop all the way. Okay, well, I'm surprised. D did he, okay, before I jump to conclusion, did he say the same thing goes for GameStop? Because this is a, this is, for you, just again, I'm not gonna think for you or say say my name, but I'm just gonna think for myself. If I hear someone who tries to say stuff like that about AMC, but it's like these are the sneaky, sil silky smooth uh, fudsters. Why? Because they make it like they know that they don't want to come out. People defensively will go out and you know close out, close them out if they come out directly and just shit talk AMC. But now it's they're a little more sophisticated they want your interest to go toward gme but they don't know how to take you away from amc so the best way is to do it like in a what somewhat of a sophisticated thing because by the way uh the same thing that he's saying as far as the hypothetical number or not that they buy 
AMC for. Uh, the same thing could be the case for GME as well. A company could come and that's it and say, hey, GME, especially after the forward split, split, when everybody, when it goes like, you know, down to whatever valuation, let's say like it goes to 40 bucks per share, uh, whatever the amount is, or 25 or 30 a share, and then they turn around and sell GameStop 40, 40 dollars a share. No one can say no. So uh, the same logic that he applies for AMC, he has to be able to apply that same logic to GME. Now the thing is, and again, I am a huge, huge in AMC and GME. So like, I, I don't approach it, like see, as of late, I've been witnessing some weird stuff where like, yes, there are elitists from GME coming down, uh, try to shit on AMC, but in the same time, it's like, why is it so hard to for people and I'm not talking about you say my name. I'm just like, you know, in general, I'm using this moment for that. Uh, are, are talking about AMC or G GME, like this team or this team, like we're versus each other. And the other side is all aligning on the same side. They're all colluding and corrupt, doing corruption and manipulating on the same e platform. They're doing the same thing together, one hand. Um, GME will squeeze, AMC will squeeze. Uh, it, 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 there's no such thing as this will squeeze if this one goes down or if this goes down this one can squeeze finally because this one is holding the other one down it has nothing to do with it this is the stock market each company for itself whatever corruption and manipulation they did in this stock they also did manipulation and corruption in other stock now it can't be equivalently exactly the same on both stocks right so they, they, that's just how it is they can't be 100% short on all stocks because if they put a hundred percent of their money in something there's no more money to put in something else to short something else so different percentages different everything now if we're going to talk fundamentally as of right now as of right now amc fundamentally has a much stronger base than gamestop the only thing that gamestop can talk about amc as far as if you're going to join that crowd of Let's bash this or you bash me. Because again, I'm, I'm the biggest investor in both. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest, but huge, huge position in both. And it, it, the GME, they're, they're sitting on a treasure trove of over a billion dollars in cash. And that's it. But as far as, like, w what are you going to do with it? That's the thing right there. What are they going to do with it? There isn't very solid outlook on the future. And some of that I factor into my uh, investment because I know like individuals on the board like uh, Ryan Cohen, how his style is and what he's doing and what he was talking about. He was talking about many times uh, about cleaning up house and taking up all the people that were in there uh, that he didn't trust personally off that board and wanted to bring his own people in so that he wouldn't have anybody inside coming in taking their information from their meetings and their plans and then taking it straight, delivering it to the shorts so they could always be a step ahead. He wanted to be a surprise. So I know how he operates. So I induced all that in my thinking process when I made my investment. But that's a good thing. That's their good and that's their bad. As far as for AMC, you can see with clarity, like at least at this point, that they're heading toward being a profitable business. So they have, even at the market being in its, in its worst days and times, as these days that we're living in, AMC is flourishing. They're doing better than pre-pandemic levels. That's, I mean, for me, if you're, if you're a person who likes to buy things by face value, that's my face value right there. <laughs> so both of them have bullish cases. I don't see where all this animosity has been coming from. And I know some elitists have been coming from this side, shitting on this side, and this side wants their side. But it, it, it put yourself in this position. If you were investing in both, and I know there's a lot of people in here following me that are doing the same thing. Maybe some are a little more in this than the other. Some are a little less than in this one than the other. But they, there's a lot of people in here that are invested in both GME and AMC. Um, what what is the like what are, what are they gonna do like are, are you gonna like I, I mean I uh, I'm pretty sure all of those same people like me never went there just made their decision about uh, 
about going into whatever company to invest in by looking at what looks better or who's who I'm going to follow in YouTube or what, what they have to say about it. No, you're, at the end of the day, nobody's going to come split your losses or your uh, money. No one is going to split your losses or your uh, gains. <laughs> mm. So hopefully all that uh, helped uh, open up more. By the way, say my name. Uh, yeah, I hope that covers that. Because I know that, again, whatever he said about AMC, that YouTuber, it also has to be the same case for GME. In fact, GME, that same case about the company being bought out, it makes more sense for GME than AMC. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Look at what Ryan Cohen did before. He made, he's an intelligent individual. I love the guy. I wish we had more of him. In fact, I look up to the guy. Um, but the but he was known for making up Chewy, getting it to where it's standing, and he sold it for billions of dollars. <laughs> Does it sound familiar with GME right now? I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but if we were to take that guy or that YouTuber's example and take it for uh, face value and say, yeah, that's what's going to happen, and if we apply that same thought process onto GME, GME looks like, okay, it looks, it looks like it can be applied more to GME than AMC. I'll just put it that way. But again, I'm not entertaining it in both of those thoughts. Both, both uh, companies and entities and boards know the value of what they're holding because of the, uh, the brand now. Like GME became a brand after the meme stock saga. AMC became obviously a brand after the meme stock saga and even after Moas they will always be very famous like they just became <laughs> Whimsy you know I can't do drama <laughs> oh no you didn't <laughs> Say what? Drama? Who's doing drama? <laughs> Just another ape. Appreciate the love, AB and Pantheon. Couldn't have got here without you guys. You were gonna get here regardless and beyond, brother. Don't don't give me nothing. I didn't do shit. You did it all on yourself. On your own. You're an intelligent individual, bro. A lot of people need to watch your stuff. Cause it comes with papers. Goonie, AA is a hard worker. He even shows up in the theaters, yeah? Go to meet all his fans, investors. Who else does that? AB. <laughs> I got you there, Goonie. <laughs> Bob Loco. Oh, man. I hope he's okay, brother. Motorcycle accident? Shit. Let me know if everything is okay and if you need anything, brother. Sorry to hear that, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll flip the camera. Maybe I'm getting to it a little late, Tyler. Hold on. These guys finished the construction over here. How do you flip a camera? I'm just fucking with you guys. They're beautiful, man. Look. Is that too much? Too far? Too close? Not too bad. You know what's the best part? Is this. At night, this is what happens. Or in a bit, maybe later on. Watch this. Sit in here. Hold on. Actually, yeah, let me move this right here. Keep it over. Ah. 
view because it's still zoomed in. Watch this. Look at this. I'm gonna have my hookah right here. Gonna be in here. And that's the view. <laughs> and if a black bear comes out of nowhere, um, I'm just gonna feed it berries. Hopefully I have berries on site. Boink. Oh, and it has lights too. So in the dark at night, these things glow in the dark and they become cool. I don't know, I'm a little kiddish. Plus I do know how to party as well still. And have a good time. Still wanna see the mountains more? <laughs> All right, let me switch it back over here. I know you were like, ah, enough seeing the ugly face. Let me see the mountains. All right, I'm gonna start wrapping up, guys. Let me see if there's any more questions in here real quick and say what's up to people in here. Our company is not a penny stock, Goody. <laughs> uh, we will not lose on these shorts. <laughs> I don't know why I just pictured all of us standing, <laughs> have our shorts on. <laughs> All investors uh, that's been with us has uh, developed resilience, humor, DD, friendship, communication. We have one same goal. Get freaking rich. Right? I just added that to it at the end, Goonie. Fundamental values and loyalty. Always. Adrian said, I'll be buying back uh, in on AMC MOS. Um, I'll hold AMC shares for infinity and beyond. I love it. That's a good title for a good song, too. AMC, love you tonight. <laughs> and forever. Na, 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 na. Uh, tune in live tomorrow. AB gonna feed a black bear before whipping him alive. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be one of those scenes with uh, like the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in that movie. I forgot which movie. What, what, you guys know the name of that movie? That bear was was a criminal, like a bona fide criminal. I mean, he opened up avenues, street addresses in <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio's body. Literally, like this goes south, this goes north. This goes east, and this goes west. <laughs> it was just all over the place. He filleted him. He filleted him. He was, he was, yeah, that, that bear was not normal. <laughs> Too many people with high school mentality. Yep. I have both, but more AMC. That's what Goonie is saying. <laughs> uh, the GME bashers want us because they want to squeeze soon. So they want the volume to squeeze. But me, I have my amount of shares and not changing my mind. Yeah, another thing, Goonie, too, is the GME community, I feel like they also have, uh, and I'm not saying all, but I think most majority, uh, a good number of them lost conviction in the play because that, that rip to 400, it's got started getting to some people's heads so they they feel like they you know the shorts have covered or they don't have much to talk about and the amc community let's face it this is again you gotta say again truth is truth be a, bullshit is bullshit wrong is wrong uh the truth is amc's community is much huger uh, bigger not huger it's not even a word look at me that's how you know i'm not a native uh tongue language speaker but anyways Moving on, um, the AMC's community is much bigger than GME's community. Now, it doesn't ma matter much because, again, 
different floats, different factors, different companies, uh, different all that. But the, the, I gotta say, I I've seen it around. I've sensed that major some some not majority. I'll say some GME community felt like they're losing their their power or their glory. Their name is fading because not a lot was being uh, put out. As you can see, an AMC community and Adam Aaron and all that, like, you know, all this stuff, it's every day, nonstop. There's something, something to talk about, new, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, like, GME, there's a few creators here and there that say stuff. But again, it doesn't need to be that kind of thing. What's said doesn't have to be understood. Like, what's understood doesn't have to be said. Sorry, it's the other way around. What's understood doesn't have to be said. Um, the short, the stock, the both stocks are heavily overshorted. Both stocks are gonna squeeze because the shorts have to cover, unless everybody sells their shares uh, before the MOAS. And I just don't see the likability of that happening. Now, if people do that in one community or the other, that's a different story. I can't tell the future. Um, but I, that's another thing to add to it, Goonie, is that the GME crowd. Be began to feel a little insecure about their conviction because of the length of how long it took and because they already initially have ripped up to the $400 level. So at least there, they're, it's getting to them that, hey, that was not the shorts covering all because the SEC reported that, you know? So they, a lot of them have lost their conviction along the way and they're trying to reignite it by trying to recoup. And those are the bad actors. I call those the bad actors. Instead of bringing up the attention to people if you don't have a personal agenda like for me i don't have a personal agenda so if you're going to be in gme you're in gme good welcome to the club if you're in amc welcome to the club you're I'm an amc um if you want to come and tell me why i should be more in gme than amc <clears throat> at that point that's when i cut it off and say okay brother i feel like this either friendship or whatever it is is not is not is not mutual here i feel like this is a personal interest that you got or this is for your interests uh what is it to you whoever you are uh to to tell me or tell anyone else where they should they diverse more especially if not financial advisors as well <laughs> so the case can be made on both stocks and ultimately you have to have your convictions once you have your conviction you got to stick and hold to your guns Look, Nana Ape, I have both. There you go, Nana. Welcome to the club. Love it. Adrian Fernandez, LOL, that good life. <laughs> Stay frothy, my friends. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, Pantheon, it is. Look at you. The art, uh, the art, uh, the architect, you uh, as, as you are, he's spoken. <laughs> you might come down here and tell him, okay, guys. Okay, fellas, take these woods from here take this lumber wood from here and put it here and put it there and you might give him a better design i know you i know your mind <laughs> by the way if you guys don't know uh pantheon is a uh, uh, is an architect so and clearly he's 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 the uh, as far as what i heard he's the best goddamn architect that the north america has to offer in fact uh all the americas i haven't checked the other continents so I'm pretty sure if that's the case here, then it's the case everywhere. Tyler, fire. <laughs> Thanks from Jerusalem. Appreciate it, brother. Oh, I peed in Kenny's pool. <laughs> What's up, Frank? You missed the episode today, man. Watch it again. You'll, you'll, have, a, you'll have yourself a laugh. Yes, let's effing go. Rud one what's up brother nice to see you in here as well you welcome goonie appreciate you brother thanks to you as well yep absolutely pantheon nobody ever cared about your money until it affects their money right and that's and that's and that's the that's the point right there is why another reason why you started seeing that kind of animosity uh from the GME family, I, not all, obviously. Again, one person or a couple of people or some people here and there, they don't represent a whole movement or a whole community. Uh, same thing with AMC. We have some shill. We have a lot of shill uh, uh, 
uh, representatives or YouTube uh, creators. But at the end of the day, do they represent all of AMC or ever, all the holdlers? Hell no. Heck no. <laughs> wise 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 all righty my friends you've seen you my data you've seen the breakdown and everything you've seen me talk about shorts you've seen me lose my cool as my friend McCam likes to point out you see me show love you see me be petty today are you not entertained <laughs> besides all that i'm gonna get ready to go ahead and wrap it up guys just love to have fun with all of you gotta go uh hit the grill get some food smoothie get my hookah ready and jump in that koozie it's the filter it makes a sound <laughs> all right any more questions appreciate it frank much love to you brother well I'll, if there's no more questions then oh brendan and ella's fun adventures at least i got to see you before i left brother uh, and sister um, well family I would like to go ahead and thank all of you for being here today thanks for putting up with me all of you guys each single one I'm not even going to single anybody out because you're all are very valuable and precious metals in my world so uh, thank you so much and I will report to you if you're in the discord uh, you'll see if I report any news, anything happen, you'll see I'll report it there. And if it's that important, I'll cover it the next day live. I might do a random video just explaining something in the middle of the night or something. You guys will see it. However, I always report things on Twitter or on uh, the uh, Discord. So join it. Again, it's free, guys. And with that being said, later, everyone. See y'all next time. Good hanging out with you, AB, and everyone else. Likewise, Adrian. Much love to you, Pantheon, Steven. Thanks, uh, thanks, my boys. You guys are definitely, definitely uh, on my Mount Rushmore. That's for sure. I'm actually going to ask Pantheon. Next time I speak to you, I want to know what happened to your Mount Rushmore. I'm pretty sure one or two guys got, got, got taken off that Mount Rushmore. But we'll keep that until we talk. With that being said, take one final look, guys. <laughs> you seen the final look Chris Chrismo have a good one brother Frank ape out and much love AB investments. AB out.